Yeah, the rogue. The way I envision the rogue is that they like run around the map and kind of just pick off enemies or do um, their own thing. Uh, the bottom one is the the big tank who will want to take the hits, and then the oh. top guys support tank. And then spellcaster is range DPS who does not want to get touched. So I pull my uh, range DPS with you. You said you wanted the middle two? Yeah, those are my two preferable units. Have you looked at any of the cards to figure out if you're going to like the play style? Or... No. no, I didn't know I had, no, so I, I didn't want to pick. Tinker was said to be very compatible with four team, four man teams. I've never played it before, though, so I don't know how to play it at all. But that's a like a success chance thing, I guess, or a compatibility thing. I don't really care that much, though. I don't want to play it. All right, I'm just waiting on you, I guess. Or I don't really change. It's not letting me not letting change, me change the... the. Just do this. Um, we'll need to buy items for our units. I think last time I played, I put in... I think I put in Swift Bow last time. There, finally. Okay, finally. Okay, nice. I guess I know the first encounter, so... I know it's going to be like a room of three on each side. Well, that was a three, so I guess maybe it'll be more. And they'll run at us. And then there'll be two more rooms, and I died at the sec- I finished the second room, and then thought it was the end, but it wasn't, so I, fin I died. So, small rooms, so ranged combat's kind of meh, but it, it'll work. And then, running into other rooms. Some more. I guess uh, there are a lot of range uh, range attackers though, so you need to move to them. Um, so given all that, so we start out with like any gold or no gold. Each character starts out with thirty gold, and we get to a shop and oh, get, like twenty that. items and ten items stuff. I guess it really determines the playstyle. Um, you need at least one of them to be a tank, so... I'd say the bird is more better suited to tank. Do they have shields? Hmm... I think a bandit captain had shield. Yeah, I think the bandit had shield. There's also going to be traps in this dungeon. They are hunters with like a line of 
traps on the on the ground that uh do three damage when you walk over them. So you need something with flying to move, or you need to disarm. I can disarm some of them. Or you just get wings. Yeah. Also, cards with pull and stuff can pull enemies into traps to get rid of them and deal damage to enemies. It's actually a sick play. Right now, I'm just looking at the boulder boy, and it doesn't really have. He's definitely yeah, he's mixed. mixed. Yeah, when I took him in, I took him in with some ranged attacks and one heal, and then um, movement and defense, I guess. Because I played this combo plus uh, minus the spell spell weaver when I went in. Yeah, I hate this UI. Sometimes it opens up the mercenary panel, and then it, you can't click to get out of it that easily. Like, I had to try really hard just to assign you characters. That's how bad this was being. Yeah, it's a... Small indie company, I feel. <laughs> Not really, but... Um, Alright, uh, for wheels... So the attacker can gain disadvantage. Are you buying stuff? I see little notifications. Yeah, I just, yeah, just equipped stuff, stuff to uh, Boulder, to, Boulder uh, Boy. Boy. I gave I gave him the boots and a healing pot. Boots and a healing pot. Good idea. Boots with the fur. Um, I think I ran out of stamina on the brute. He does take a lot of damage, so healing pot's good on him, and then stamina pot would be second best. Both are viable. I also took the heater shield on him. Um, Put some tank items on base tank. Hmm, if I take a potion, maybe I don't have to take the card for healing. But that also works vice versa. Alright, I think I'm good to go now. Alright. Uh, city encounter. I'm not ready yet, though. Venom shield. Start in the city of Gloomhaven. There are the old docks and the new docks. The east barracks and the northern barracks. Plus one. There's the district for the coin, the district for the travelers, the university for the scholars, the mixed district for all those mixing pans of people we don't want to see, the horn districts for the scalies, and the boilers district for the freaks who like to do spa trips. Um. Temple. Temple. Alright, I bought all my items. My spellweaver abilities. To be honest, I didn't read most of the cards, but I just checked the three that weren't selected and decided if I wanted them wanted them or not. Yeah. Like I can summon an ally. If it's a long dungeon, allies might be good. I don't really know. Um, there's a heal for range if he needs to heal. I don't really think that's necessary. Pretty sure usually allies are just for decoy maneuvers. 
Yeah. Later, there are objectives that's not like you don't have to kill, you just have to survive and stuff, so I suppose pets would be good for that. There are all kinds of different missions in this game. Retaliate? Why don't I retaliate? Move three, shield two. I can generate. Oh, I can consume air. No, I can. Yeah, I can consume air and energy. Eh, I'm good. Uh, city encounter start? start. Yeah, we first do our city encounter while we're here. In a rare Every moment, time we're here. you find yourself looking out over the dark side and spend a few minutes discussing how the last mission went down. Mercenaries, eh, says a voice from behind you. You turn and see a young street urchin. I'm sure you think you are pretty tough, but you are brave enough for a real challenge. Um. He's egging us on. Whoa, you have to ask me first, bro. What the fuck? First quest. What'd you even I, I you thought ask? I would do like a vote, yeah, system, a vote system, but I guess it doesn't. It doesn't. No. What'd you pick? Uh, uh accept, it. accept it. Yeah, take the challenge. We're not pussies. Face the storm at the sleeping lion. Nice. I didn't get that. You may complete only complete once the encounter per visit to Gloomhaven. Yep. And they're all really good, so you want to do them. Alright, um, let's travel. And we'll get a road encounter as we travel there. Do I have to do it too, or do you, is it just you that has to do it? So see the Harrow Hive to the bottom left. Um, right north of us, Blackboro. And I can't drag the map. Um, thought WSD. Oh yeah, it is. You can also click at the bottom for Gloomhaven. And a world map, maybe. Um. I clicked it. Maybe it's highlighted for you. Okay, I read it up. How'd you ready up? I don't see it. Uh, it's like the, it's like the middle, middle of the middle screen, screen for. for... Oh, it gives me a bottom right icon in my world map row when you do it for me to accept, I guess. You have to redo it. To redo I it. I there you go. Everyone needs to eat. Whatever your reason for coming to Gloomhaven, out here on the edge of the... So when Jexera, a Valrath woman wearing a red cloak and enough gold jewelry to keep you fed for a decade, approaches you in a sleeping lion and offers to pay you ten gold coins to track down a thief and retrieve some stolen goods. Well, Her fucking nose though. Seems like as good an excuse as any to sober up and start paying off your tab. Skull nose. This thief has taken some important documents, says the red-skinned merchant. Her she tail sent me to my death last time. I don't care. Based on Jack Sarah's description, am I skipping it for you? Easy enough to knock around. You're not. Are we doing separate instances? Location of the thief's hideout. I can't tell. Have you, you been clicking? You as a mercenary way out in Gloomhaven. Uh, a little bit, yeah. A few skulls. Mostly just listening. I just skipped through now, and then the uh, Gloomhaven icon moves, and then we got the encounter. I'll wait for you. How about the encounter? Um. 
A wagon in front of us, covered in metal bars, a number of ragged men in chains walking behind it. A slave wagon. City guards on the sides of the wagon. I have no I idea why we're talking about escape. Seems like it's just a stupid idea. Yeah. Yeah. Sprints out of his manacles, means to sprint to full speed into the tall grass. Yeah, we cash this fucker. Yeah, I think we help the guards. Ooh, reputation's really good too. I wish I didn't spend all my money knowing if but uh yeah that'll make things cheaper in the future. The hell we want as much as that as possible. Find. A short journey past the new market gate, and you see it jutting out on the edge of the corpse wood, looking like a rat under a rug. Moving closer. You see the mound is formed from a black earth. It's... As you dis... Alright. Uh, choose your battle goals for the dungeon. You can choose one of two battle goals. Um, one of two difficulties for one perk point or two perk points. And... If you achieve it, you get some... Uh, you probably get away with the purest. What? Oh, each character oh. has their own. I don't okay, see this. Okay. Uh, it's each character. So I have one for only short rests. One for 13 or more experience points. I think last time I played too slow. This time we need to play a little faster, so I'll probably try to take only short rests on my rogue. On my mage, be the first to kill a monster during the scenario. You let me. You let me be the first to kill. You let me okay. be the first okay. to kill. The other one is allow none of your allies to become exhausted during the scenario. And eh, we're first timers. Tough, tough sell. All right, I went for the first kill. Older boy is just don't use items, and then uh, face tank just needs to open a door for. And you have a potion on him. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I'll need to use it. What is it? Health potion. Potion. Yeah. If you manage your ability, you might not have to, but um, it's really easy to take damage in this game pretty quickly. They can go from, we're okay, to, holy fuck, we're not okay, really fast. Worth of our next skill, skill point. point. Do you risk do you it for the biscuit? biscuit? Alright, do you, do you remember anything from last time you played? I do. I do. It's okay. coming back a little bit, but I don't know, like, the right way to, like, play to win sort of thing. Your first card it determines your play, uh, priority. Number. You can vaguely make One is... Silhouette. As he Lowest. Oh, one is fastest. And through a door. Wow, yeah, that's right. right. Initiative points. Alright, scroll up to top view. What control clicked? WASD for the camera. Yeah, but how do you rotate left and how do you rotate 90 degrees? QE. Like from Okay, that's what I want. I want. I want to be behind us. All right. So brute on the right, Boulder Boys in the middle. Oh, we get to choose our starting locations, don't we? Um. Yeah, I think you should move the mage over behind the tank. Oh, we can. You should move the the rogue yeah there, then put the uh the mage behind. So I'd imagine I just I just have face tank run forward on the right pack. And then you need to kill one of the Sixers. Okay, I'm caught up. Um, you say it again? Um, I'm gonna have face tank run up to that, that, um, 9 o'clock one on, our, on his side. And I guess aggro it. And then you need to focus down one of the six, uh, six minions. Yeah. When I came in here, I focused on the right side. 
As much I don't as know if we can, can see to the left side or not. You have some immobilized on Boulder Boy. Can you make that work? I'll, yeah, I'll see what he has. Alright, um... They, they made this uh, spawn, and a lot of the cards have like a range of three or four, or mostly three. So it's like just barely out of range or barely in range. I don't know if I can hit that six unless I move first, but that'll put me... Are you moving your brute into a melee range? Because um, otherwise... I probably I need to. to. Yeah, because I'm worried if I move my um, rogue up a little bit, they will focus him and... They focus the nearest uh, enemy, so I need to make sure it's not not me. All right, rogue. Um, attack three. Add plus two of when it targets adjacent. So as you figure out what your plays are, tell me like what your priority number is or what your turn play order is. Yeah. So try yeah. to speed for relative term speed tune. Oh, yeah, you mean. you mean. I just have no idea what I'm doing yet. Yep. Backstab. Add to gain when it's adjacent to their enemies. Can I move on top of someone, do you remember? Do you remember? Or just in or front, just front of them? No, you can only be in the adjacent space. You cannot be on top. The move with the flying stuff lets you move through them, but you still have to land on an empty spot. I just make sure I can't be on the same tiles then. Yeah. If I move quickly with my rogue, I can maybe move my mage to the right and then get her in range to attack. Maybe. I think that might be the play. Well, the next resource to damage. <sighs> so I really want your brute to move quickly and go in may maybe like the left side of the three that's like on in front of the middle and the left side. And I want to send my rogue to the right side and my mage to the right side and kill the far corner guy. That's really what I want to do. So, I mean, yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can one-shot the guy in the far right corner. Uh, how does 64 for first turn town? Really slow. It's uh, like my third highest. Bandit guard. These guys might move at like 30, 40. They're that's not that's fast, lower than me, me though. You want to be faster than them so you can move first. So lower numbers better. Yeah, yeah. lower number means you go first. I'm a, I'm hoping that you go first. You put yourself right in front of them, um, right here, and then these two attack you, and then I go on this side and one shot this guy before he takes a turn. That's what I'm hoping. Do that. Do that. Uh, control click. Yes. So my goal is to move my rogue and then attack the guy on the right and then move my mage to the right and then attack from range. And I'm just seeing uh, what I'm figuring out what cards I have that can let me do that. Mana Bolt is an attack two from range. It wants to. I need to generate some energy or mana first. Frost Timer is a attack two from range three. That could work. One, two, three. I need to move two with it to make that work. I can make that work, yeah. Um I can do five damage in one hit with my rogue two as long as I can move three. Yeah. Okay, I think my play is completely viable. Um, how fast is your brute moving? Remember, you can choose. What do I need to be above? Oh. What's that? What do I need to be below? I guess. Oh, I guess. Try to be below like twenty. Thirty. Remember, you you choose two, top and bottom, but you get to choose like which one first to be your number. So if one, if one of your cards is lower, one is higher, you can just pick the lower one first and have a faster turn order. Um. Okay, so I have 18 for the first one, and then... 
So I can select a, a really low number first to, to go first, and I just select the higher number for my second card. Yes. That's how you can use your high cards without and still be fast. And try to keep a balance. Oh man, do I burn a card right away on my mage? I have my mage has a lot of good cards, but it also burns. I have one card that brings back my burn cards, though, right? Recover all of your burn cards once, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna AoE the right side with three fire orbs. Attack three, range three, target three. Gain one experience for each enemy targeted. Yeah, so my, my I just think it's gonna do gonna do like a, a small hit on two of them. That's not the one the two are that are not in the corner. Or the two or the, right, the two are that mage. Are that my rogue's gonna end here and my mage is gonna end here. My mage needs to go fast. My mate or my rogue is six. So how fast is your brute? Eighteen. Okay. Sorry, this this is gonna be a, a slow progression. We'll play like one instance. Dude, I'm pretty sure I'm way slower than you are. I'm slow. Trust me, I'm way slower than you are. I, I haven't even finished yet, but I know what I want to do. And now I'm just like implementing it. But yeah, this is the kind of game we play like two hours, maybe one or two dungeons, and then wrap it up. Cause it's a it's a mind bender. All right, so I have my attack set. Now I need a move Me operation. Too. Which one is not the valuable move? Move three poison. Move five. Special mixture is a heal. I don't need that right now. I'm gonna use that. Okay, ro a rogue is done. Spell weaver. All right, you're doing fire orbs. So you're gonna hit for a lot, and then you want mana oh so you just need to move dude is shield permanent or is it one turn do you remember shield is permanent it's like on use you get one shield and then it's consumed okay I'm gonna do that for my folder is it your shield or your, your card uh, the card is all allies for one damage, shield two for all allies. Although maybe this is like too early in the game to use it, but it's a burn. I know you have one card that's like, it's like six, and like each time you attack, get attacked, you get minus one, and you get like experience, but you said a different one, I think, right? Say, so what, what are you doing on your brute? Just let me know real quick. I'm I think I'm gonna do a quick shield on all our allies, and I'm gonna put up some obstacles with avalanche. I don't think you need to shield all allies. I mean, for me, I I think your goal is just to move here and then retaliate or shield. Like that's just what you want to do on him. And then the boulder boy just hitting the guys and left and mobilizing or. Helping out a little bit, but um, what do you think? Oh, I don't see your play turns. That's so dumb. It should show me it when you have it selected. All right. Um, so your, good your cards. Now. Okay, your brutes good and they're both good. All right, send it. 50-50? One fly in my room. 50-50, yeah. They're slower, yeah. The archers in the next room will be really fast. Alright, time to teach this guy on the right. Oh god, I hope I don't one-shot and kill and then ruin my mage. Oh. I think you, Thank you you move three, hit the corner one, and then you backstab the the, t the oh, shield man. target. Yeah, I should I should attack the main guy. Good idea. one. 
but the poison? Alright, your turn. Send it, bud. Oh, I think they attacked me because I had priority. Hmm. I should have went slower. I forgot about that rule. Good shit. I saw from the bottom for you. That's huge. One, two, one, two. Oh, unlucky. Let's go! Pog you. Can you finish off the... the elite, by chance? No, I can't get over there. Yeah, that sucks. What are you doing? Are you sending him to the left, or...? Well, I mean... No, they're, no these are arranged. Maybe move him behind the brute? Yeah. yeah. The guys on the left are gonna run to your brute. So what if you wanna do melee attacks next turn, move him next to the brute. If you wanna do range attacks, move him next to the like spell weaver. Up to you. I would Oh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, fuck, I picked, fuck, I picked two picked bottom, bottom ones. ones. That's not possible. I mean, I intended to use two, two of the bottom ones. You wanted to loot? I wanted to move and I wanted to use the obstacles. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't worry about it too much, just uh, send up. There's not much you can do here. Like, if you want to do range damage, move him next to Spell Weaver. If you want to do melee damage, move him next to Brute. The obstacles aren't going to matter that much. You just click it and uh, skip ability or something. Alright, AI. Ooh, that's not good. So you want to mitigate that with some items, or just... That was a big hit, you can maybe just like disc discard maybe, or um, choose something to invalidate that attack. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's two cards or one card? Well, one's like a burn, one's like discard, and you'd rather discard at this point. Uh, burn two discarded cards. Don't do that. That sounds like the worst option. Hmm. Think going too well. It's okay. We have some uh, heal cards in play. There you go. That's what I was worried about. I forgot about the turn order. If I could have made your brute take it, it would have been better. Do I heal? Did I take a healing potion? No, I took their bow.
Pretty sure I had to burn because uh, I took discarded the heal on my soul spell or something. Unless you can, you can heal me on your boulder guy. Did you already use the heal card? I think. Uh, uh no, I don't, no, think, I don't so. think so. I have. Uh, I have a heal too. Too. Oh, I have a heal four as well. I can heal you six in one turn if you're within two of me. Yeah, let me. Uh, you are. I'm gonna take it and see if you you got me. All right, we need to kill the people on the right side and make a stand. If your brute can go really fast and retaliate, they will all target him. I can provoke can more. more. Yeah. But you also need to shield and stuff and maybe throw in a heal with your boulder guy. Uh, does my... Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Frost armor, fire orb. Uh, I'm getting a boulder bomb, I'm just getting healed, road. I have a freezing, I have a freezing Nova that heals four at range four. But, but can, um, you, can you, can you kill the two that are three and one? Yeah, I have a mana bolt that consumes my elements of any kind to do three damage at range three. Also, uh, uh, I need you to not move the rogue so I can full heal him. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. So I have a four heal on my spell lever. I could, I think this turn, you use boulder guy to heal brute and brute to provoke and retaliate and let me finish off the other two. And you worry about the pack of three that just came over to us with your two units. So you want Boulder to not heal? Well, focus on supporting Brute. Don't worry about the Rogue. I'm gonna kill the other two um, low unit, low health ones this, this round. Okay, I think I can split and do both. Uh, I, I, I just got the two, you got the three. Um, that's where I'm at. Just be opt optim optimal from there, and you'll be fine. Do you need help killing anything, or...? No. Um... My mana bolt does three, so I can kill the three or the one. Yeah, I'm... Can, can the rogue just kill the three and the one, and then we, we burst down the six in the middle by the boulder guy? With the with the with my boulder and your mage? Uh, yeah, let me see what my options are on my rogue. Because I don't have a lot of two targets. Also, the uh, well, the tank has really high initiative, so he's gonna go first. Good. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can attack two, range three, target two on these two guys after moving myself back a little bit. Um, range in this game, if you're in melee range, you get disadvantage, so you get like two negative rolls. So you want to always move first and then attack at range. FYI. Okay, I didn't know that, didn't know that thing. So I just need a move card. Alright, um... I'll move and then attack at quick priority and attack two. Do you want to burst down the, the six in the middle, or not? Yeah, I'm going to attack the six next to your boulder guy with my spell weaver. I'm leaving the other chip up to my rogue. But um, maybe I'll slow down my turn priority just to make sure things go okay on my rogue. Attack three, range two, wound. Well, what about range? Boulder guy doesn't really have good melee attacks, so I guess I have to move first. Okay. That should be fine.
Do you see my screen? On Discord? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do know. This this top part of this is like really weird. Does that mean I hit on each side? Yeah, you hit on adjacent on opposite sides of yourself, and then you get experience. All right. Um, I don't think it matters, but how fast is your brute moving? My bird wolf is at ten. It will for sure take the first turn. Okay. Um, I'm ready. Are you good? All right up. All right up. Let's go. Big turn. Big turn. Thirty-five. I went a little bit too slow, but it's okay. All right. Do your thing. I guess it only works for your, your other character. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the rule in Gloomhaven is they target the nearest character with the highest turn order. So we'll see if that holds up. Alright. Range three. Turn two. Uh, I guess I won't kill the far guy if it's only a two attack. Huh? Oh, I poison, yeah. I don't, want to move, I don't want to move it that far. Oh, I, I got no, no. It invalidated my attack. Oh, he's a ranged attacker. Bandit Guard Elite. Damn, and I put my Spell Weaver like that as insurance, and he's not fast enough. Shit. That knocked out. This has got wild, yeah. On their turn card, we see that their attack was a attack three at range, yeah. Um, so I, I have two range attacks. Who's the priority? The priority is the three. I need you to kill the two on the, the wall, and I'm gonna turn my direction toward the other two on the other side. Say again, kill the two on the wall. Yeah. Attack yeah. three, range two, wound two. A wounded character suffers one damage to start of each of turns. So I could wound the six, and then have the rogue go really fast to kill the three next turn, and then. Yeah, I, I want to take use of the red. So let's go ahead and uh, light this guy up. Consuming the red element. Plus two. He's dead. The roll. And then I, and then I have a huge heal from my Alright, balance has been restored. I don't need to recover a discard. And I have a invisibility cloak on my spellweaver. I'm fucking Harry Potter, dude. Have a pata. Alright, what you working with, buddy? You got a heal. Um, not a bad choice. 
You have a move and skewer. I guess you can't really capitalize on that anymore. Um, you have an attack two at range five. You could uh, whack one of them. Do you have any melee attacks on Boulder? Are you gonna send him into the left side? I don't really have melee. melee. Like your opposing strike is technically melee. Um, how many cards do you have left? Are you, do you need a short rest? It's only a second turn, so we still have like six. Okay. So what's your what's your plan? Are you sending him at them melee style, or are you doing me Heal your brute. All right. Um. Does she know saying that's not what I would have chose is not really a good thing to say? I know it's a little rude, but I don't understand why you did that. Because then your top card got no value, whereas you could have at least dealt some damage. How I can't move anywhere. Your heal, would, uh, your uh, attack was range five, which means you could have hit anybody on the map. And then your other one was for retaliate, so you could have set it up or just moved or something. Or just burn the card for like little value. Was that a burn? Oh. If it was a burn, um, probably not worth it then. Attack three, add plus two, and when adjacent to any of your allies. So flanking strike is for when. I would save that for the other guys on the bottom when you're melee range. I, I, I mean, I assume your tank needs to be melee range, so I'll follow up after you, after I kill them. Oh, the wounded guy is dead. I just need to kill the one in the back. Okay, yeah. yeah. Thanks just going down yeah, toward yeah, the nine, nine and six. six. Okay. Ooh, I need to save my move five. One, two. Yeah, I can get away with that. Move, move two, attack three. Do I use that? Alright, I have a... Uh, these two are gonna die this turn. One's wounded, taking minus one at the start of his turn. The other one's taken out by the rogue. So... I will use my Spellweaver to take care of the six. Uh, to help take care. Attack two, Freezing Nova, that's a... I'm good, to go. I'm good to go. I'm kind of need to three and one, and then, and then where if, you have any, if you have any range like support, just kill the six. <laughs> My only attack with Spellweaver is an attack three, range four, um, but it's a burn card. It just, it just like pierces a row on that range four to deal three to all the targets. Not really a good choice here. Like I, I I I don't know how many like rooms are in here, so I don't know how how conservative. There's one more behind this, then there's one more to the left from where we enter. Uh, control click where your brute's gonna land. Is it gonna be right in between them? Okay, is any there? What's his turn order? Uh, brute or tank is 15. Boulder boy is 29. Okay. Alright, I trust. 
Jump eight, move four, jump four. All right, I say the move four. All right, may God protect me. All right, let's get to work. Send it. Bro, stop rolling, man. Making, making us look make bad. Us look bad. Does the uh, poison? Do you know when that takes effect? Well, the next attack is like plus one damage, or advantage, or something. Yeah, just the next attack is. It's like each next attack is plus one damage. Um, my mage is gonna move next to them in Frost Nova, like like in D4. So make sure, yeah, your characters are melee range and there to help. Nice. That's in mobilized too, right? Yeah, I think, yeah so. I think so. Oh, nice. We can kill him then. Never mind. That was a burn for the movement, so. You'll probably regret that. We need. You, do you remember what short rest, long rest are? Short rest is um, as you, it's on your turn. You just short rest. Uh, you get all your cards back. Minus one card that gets burned at random. It like presents an option. Like, do you want to burn this card or do you want to take one damage and choose another card? So you make a choice, and then you get all your cards back to play the turn. Um, long rest consumes your turn. To get a card back, and I, I think you still lose a card. I didn't long rest last time I played, so I forget the mechanic. I think a long rest you heal too. So it consumes a turn, you heal, and then you get your cards back. Minus one, I guess. Okay. You have okay. to lose one. Yeah, definitely a between rooms between thing. thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Be careful on your. Well, I guess. You, I don't know, I didn't take the battle achievement to not exhaust characters, so if your brute runs out of cards and exhaust, it is what it is. Are you attacking with your uh, your boulder on the three guy at all? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Alright. I'm, I'm scared to move, because I could move here and then ice freezing Nova, but I'm scared I'm going to get hit by the elite, so I don't know. It's really probably a bad, move. a bad move. Yeah, so I'm just going to... Oh, it's an immobilize on the adjacent. Oh, it's just adjacent. Freezing right. Nova, Frost Nova. Uh, even if I, I could do that once and then um, use my invisibility cloak and get out of there. Okay. So you immobilize the guy in the back, right? With your movement. Or did it not work? You're gonna hurt your ally. <laughs> Lucky dog. Four damage. It's not the worst. I can heal it. Um, yeah, we're gonna fight a lot more. I don't know. I'm really scared to burn cards because we'll exhaust characters quickly. So. Wait, you didn't finish um, the other of them? The other one's gonna die on his turn. That guy, got I got unlucky. There we go. Ah. ah.
Never quite according to plan. Long rest. Yeah, I could long rest on my, uh, my scoundrel next turn. So I will attack at high priority and then move to get some gold. Alright, Spellweaver, we need to kill this guy. Oh, I don't have any kill cards anymore. Hey, Boulder Boy is 13. He's just gonna move away and then attack at ranged. Are you doing damage? How much? I. Uh, uh, three damage, do, hopefully. Yeah. Or maybe two. So I can only do I can only do the default attack with my Spellweaver. I don't know what the play is. I only have two cards left and neither and they just move my cards and loot cards. So I I got the loot. Can you move your crag and let me move my, put my soul weaver there so I can loot? Yeah, the crag is already moving back. And then are you can you move your brute up anywhere or something? Uh I'm gonna try have him do a melee attack, yeah. Yeah. So, Boulder's 13, Tank is 32. Are you... Can you move your Brute here? To get the gold and hit? Uh, sure. Because I can move my Mage here and loot uh, one and get both of these. That's what I'm thinking. And then this uh, this as well. I can't guarantee the, the, ta the tank you do dies, though. That's fine, I can't do any damage. There's a good anyway. chance he dies, but I can't guarantee it. I can't do any damage anyway. Okay, and then, uh, may, uh, we gotta make sure the tank opens the door for his quest. So, don't open the door. Yeah, you should say that earlier. I am. I could have done that this turn, but I didn't. Um, yeah, we need to be careful about opening doors, because once we do, the other enemies can run in, so... At that point, we can get screwed pretty easily. I just do basic strikes. Your rolls are terrible. That was a plus one, dude. What do you mean? That was a minus oh, wait, one. That was a minus one. Yeah. The deck is stacked against us. What can I say? Wait, don't you need to run over the coins to get them? Not with this character. I got it, don't worry. Oh, was that that's where you needed to go, I'm sorry. I should have I was going here. Oh okay. Yeah, you didn't call it out. I thought you were going the other way. Neutral is not is awesome. Careful, this guy's in the lead and he's hitting with strength in, so he attacks at advantage, so he's gonna hit really hard. I should have said that earlier. Oh, I would have used the shield this turn. <laughs> oh shit, man. Oh wait, I can still. Oh wait, no, I can't. <laughs> eh. So, I mean, if if I knew it was one. I could have short rested on Spellweaver and made a play to kill him. But we didn't do that. Okay. 
Wish I could have done that on my first playthrough. All right, cheese long. Oh wait, this is a long rest angle. Uh, yeah, my brute only has one card left. Fuck, I burned a lot. Yep. You, yep. you burned a lot? That's not good. This is a long dungeon. I have four burned on the tank already. Oh, that's GG probably then. Um, can you kill or do I need to kill or who's killing here? Because I can short rest on both characters. I'm very slow. slow. On the tank. tank. Um. My scoundrel could use the long rest for the heal. My, s I can short rest on my um, my mage and take care of it. How's that sound? Yeah, both yeah, my both characters my aren't good for attacks this turn. Okay. Well, I mean, I could probably just move and basically attack, but they're they're all high initiative. Nice. I sure rested on my mage, and the one that got burned was the loot one move eight. That was 83. That wasn't really useful. Alright, so, um, mana bolt is seven, range three. I can hit him from here. Thanks, long resting. Older boys are gonna move in, do a basic stuff. Or is there, is there a way to like retreat from the dungeon or something? I am. I don't think you need to, but I, I don't really remember if there is a way to. I don't think you should though. If you die, you just go out. You don't. There's no. It's not hardcore. How much HP? Does. Oh, this is a. It's a heal for a range four, but it's a burn. I don't think. Should I heal your brood at the cost of a burn card? I have one ability to get all burn cards back later, but. What are you doing with your brood? Are you sending him in? Are you you have to long resting? long resting? Oh, then I don't need to heal him. Yeah, fuck that. Um. A I'm four heal would bring him at the top. top. Huh? A four heal would four top him off. Yeah, but we'll save it for later. Because there's two more bosses to fight. Alright, let go. Yep. Take that, sucker. I could have moved farther to get the gold and use an actual. Crag like here if you want. Why? Why move there? I was just gonna get the gold. Oh yeah, get the gold. I'm sorry, I just want to move closer to the door. I didn't really look your cards up fast. Alright, we have hundred percent of this room. It's only one of three though, so we'll see how long we last. Oh, you're, yeah, you're not in the good spot. Oh, you also refresh all items spent when you long rest. So, use your potions before you long rest.
Select a card to burn. Yeah, it doesn't feel like Saturday morning. How so? So it was like Sunday, kind of. It's dark in my room, and we've been doing this for a little bit, so it feels like the time's gone for a long time. Kind of true. Yeah. I'm gonna keep flanking strike since it's a good for adjacent to our allies. I assume your brutes can be melee range a lot. Do we need to move away from the door before we open it? No. Once it opens, we can run in. Or the do we run in or do we, do we cut them back? I think we go in. It's a bunch of hunters. And then they put up like a wall of traps in front of them, so we we move in about halfway to the room, pull if you have pull abilities, and then melee it out and fight. I don't have any pull abilities on either character. I have some. How do you not? I have, I know you. Does they have cards for it? I guess you get rid of them. Yeah, so I think this round we just run in and one movement card, one range card. Try to aim for like movement four, range three. Otherwise, get rid of cards that are probably not good at ranged. And save the cards for next turn. Yeah, I have the bird up in the door and then my other guy's long resting. What? Uh, we really should try to time our long rest together, but I guess it's not a huge deal. Um, what priority is he moving at? 54. Oh, I mean, you really high. make it... Whatever. I just pick my highest two. I mean, I have to go slower than him, so... It's... it's hard. I only have one card that's above 54, dude. Do you want me to do it quicker? Yeah, I mean... Maybe it's fine, maybe the other, I mean, the, once we open the door, the other team goes, so I'm not sure how that works if they have a lower turn order. But, um, you know what, I, this is what I think is going to happen. I think if you move at 54, I'll move my rogue at like 60, I mean, I have to remove my, both of them after your, your brutes. But if they're turn order like 30 and you're 54, you go first, and then they all go, and then our team goes. I can just be so, like 32 or 18 or something. Yeah, but what's, what's the best? Because, like, we can plan for them to go after you, and then if they run at us or whatever, because they're probably out you of range. You shouldn't be able to hit me on the first turn, right? Yeah, unless they're, I mean, archers might have, like, range 5. That's, like, the max that they could hit us with. If you if you open the door and back up, they'll come to us, for sure. I'd rather them come to us. Okay, okay. Then this this is me a strat. You open the door with your brute and then move back. Even if they have like range five, they can't shoot through the wall, so they have to walk up. And the next turn, we can like run in and like zerg them or something. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'd rather be really slow and have your mage move away first, or at least move away to the side or something. Yeah, do you want me to like end my turn first, or do you just want me to go after you? I can just go really slow. Yeah, then I have to go... Well, do you want me to finish my turn, and then let you, like... I don't think you got the question. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go 61, I'm going to open the door with my tank. Anybody need to heal? Oh, it's a self-heal. What's her max HP? Uh... Eight and ten. My uh, the boulder guy does not need a heal. I'm self healing with scoundrel. She has a okay. self heal ability. Seems like an apt time to use it. Um. Okay. My my spell weaver has like one or two big burn card plays, and then I need to. Um, recover all my burn cards with reviving either. 
and then make a second half push for the the game. Yeah, we might not finish this round. Um, so you need to go first at 70, 54. So I have 70 and 80. Move, move. One has jump, so I'll just go with this one. That's a burn. Target all just enemies. Heal three, one. Who needs the heal? We're gonna heal anyone, anyone do the tank. Do the tank. We'll see how it plays out. Um, can you use the top one? So that you can generate the element? Because my spell, spell weaver likes elements. What are you asking me to do? Use the top card bottom. No, it's a burn. It is not a burn. A burn is the, the bottom card top ability. I'm saying top card bottom ability. Overwhelming Assault has a top half that has a burn. That's what the icon looks like with the card on fire. The Leaping Cleave used the bottom move for the open the door. That's what I'm saying. Uh, knights quickly ahead. Okay. If you move forward, you can attack for six. Oh, but it's a burn. Ah, you. Uh, I'm not. I don't want to move forward. forward. Okay. Then you other stay still. I move back left. I'm gonna move there. Move there. Go for it. Oh, now I can see, but now they go, right? Now we're in trouble. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, this is plus a, also a learning experience. I think just take the damage. I'll heal you anyway. They can't attack, they block each other right now. The archers in the back there are gonna be a problem. You can poison him and then move away, can't you? Yeah. Well, I guess it's when you land, though, so... Well... Do I heal and move, or do I attack him for three, poison him, and then move? Because... It feels like not healing you is probably the better option here, and getting some poison on this guy. It's a soft heal anyway. Rush. Oh shit, I thought this was Spellweaver. Uh, I was mispositioned. Um. Oh fuck, what do I do then? I can't hit. I'm out of range. There's nothing I can do to get in, into range here. I don't really feel the need to move. Okay. Do I heal? No. You can't stand, stand there. So you have to move yeah. away. How far back? Two or three? Or one or two? Nexus counts or before? I feel like you move three in either direction. I guess two to stay in range of the attack. Yeah, that's what I think too. Never lucky, boys. Ah.
Allah. Insya Allah. I can get a discard whenever I need it. All right, so um, we're obviously getting outpaced. The brutes just um, burned a lot. We're playing passively, so we were gonna get out stamina and outpaced, like I did on my first play. So we have to be quicker and deal more damage, uh, like as a priority. Um, if people will try to distribute the damage as passively again, but we have to do we have to start doing damage quickly if we have any chance to win. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack, and attack and then move, and then move really, quick really quick with the quick tank. With the tank. I can do an attack for three, and it's plus two because you're you're adjacent to him. So I want to do that. What's the shield value? I can do an attack that does double shield value. Shield one. So that's an attack two for plus two. It's not even worth it. Do I need to move my tank or? Or you gotta like nuke the I mean, guy. If I move, I move at four priority. Like it doesn't really matter what you do. I feel like I need to move the tank away from the door, just so the other guys can't run up and slap him. Um, at the end, yeah. Is anybody gonna heal him? Do you have a potion or anything? A stand up. Not on the tank. He just has equipment. Okay. Is your crag gonna heal him, or do I need? Do you think you can kill the guy in front, or? I, th I think not, I, need to, not, I need to damage him. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of damage to him. Are you gonna hit him with Crag? If we hit him with all three besides the brute, maybe we kill. I think the Crag needs to heal my tank. Can it prioritize? How much damage can it do to the the elite? I right, prioritize killing the elite. All right, um, on my rogue, I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go in the middle melee range and I'm gonna hit him fat right in the face. Then I'm gonna park him there. So um, I really need him to die. Or I, I, either that or I need you to move your crag where he is and plan that way. That's what I um, need so far. Ooh, I only have two abilities left on my spell weaver. Frost Nova, it's a melee. Okay, uh, tank's 10, boulder guy's 35. And the boulder guy is attacking melee. Are you generating any elements? I think they're both attacking, they're both attacking. Are you generating any elements? Uh, leaf, if that counts for you. Um, what, uh, number, what number? 35. I'm gonna move my boulder to the other side behind the tank. So he's not just like over here tracking aggro. Okay. Um, so how much damage are you doing to the elite? Uh, attack three, immobilize. Attack two, disarm. Okay. Well, that sounds um, pretty good. Or attack three, attack three. Huh? I'm doing five damage with one with my scoundrel. I just want I need him to die. Or my I, I don't want to push him right. You can. It's, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's it's yeah, two it's damage. Two damage. But uh, disarm is I'm gonna do. If you're gonna push him, I need to know when so I don't, I can time. I'm not gonna push. push. I think that's a bad idea right now. Okay. So you're generating leaf at 35 and he's not moving. Yeah. Yeah. So I need I need to go after 35. So I just need one of my two back. How do I use my... Honestly, 
How do I use my item? What's up? I'm gonna create some obstacles in the doorway with my boulder guy after I attack. Okay. So he's gonna stay where he's at, but he's gonna create some obstacles. Oh, I was trying to use my potion right now to get a uh, my stamina potion to get one of my discarded cards back. You cannot use it right now. You have to use it in the play order thing when your like turn comes. So I use it. I use it a turn too late. Fuck. Um, now I really can't hit uh, besides melee range on my spell weaver. Um, you. I'm doing five. You're moving your crag. I'm moving after your crag, so I could move my spillweaver in place of your crag and do a freezing nova for a two, which is one from the shield. Fuck, is it worth it? Freezing nova sounds really bad right now. Yeah. But do I waste a turn in short rest, or...? Yeah, we're sort of building momentum. We're not really, like, going ham right now, so it's... If you need a rest, just rest. So what I'm thinking is... Although, taking a rest I move, is rest, right? right? you burn cards? I move up to where Crag is, I do the hit, next turn I'm out of cards, I have to rest. Um, I can probably short rest and then go for another play and move my character in there, or in the doorway at least, and start putting out damage. Because those brutes are gonna, those guys are gonna move up, so maybe I'll move like in front of the doorway but um we need to keep you, going you, do your turn order, so you, move, you move after they move then you can have a yeah. valid target do you have a, a heal t idea for the brute or because we need to get both your units in there and we need to start mowing these but guys the guy can probably start healing next turn okay move your crag in <laughs> let's kill and then next turn move your brute in and use your crag to heal him and yeah, my crag has a heal four on twenty nine, so that's okay. that's very viable. Okay, I have a I have a burn heal if we need it for emergencies, but I'd rather not use it. Uh, uh, Although the other one, uh, the fro freezing nova is the other. Yeah. All right. Um. So I, I need to go after you. All right. Good luck. Damn, they're yeah, quick. 15, quick. 15, 15, 32. I mean, it's just... Your crag is a little later. That sucks. Alright. Time to smack and crack. I hate you. Die. <laughs> Finally a good roll. Alright, buddy boy. Need you to hit. Uh. Why don't you pop the bottom? Oh, because it's a burn. Fuck, yeah. I didn't know that was a burn. I, I used that in my first playthrough, yeah. I feel like your rogue's in a really bad spot. It is what it is, dude. Yeah. It's a shield. And then... Oh, he didn't attack this turn. Wait, he should have attacked three for poison. Why didn't he attack three with poison? Confused. All right, here they come. Well, it's just good because we're having them fighting them at range is a bitch. All right, light them up. What the hell's going on? He has too many oh, shields. Yeah. He's the, yeah, he's he's all caked up on a Wednesday. Now you can't do it. I mean, the obstacles would have blocked us, so I'm not sure if that's been a good idea. I want to put it at the door, but I guess he had to be dead first. Uh, so. I wish you would have just moved him to the other side of the door. Whatever.
I think when you draw them, they go out of the. No, I don't think they go to the deck. Alrighty. Uh, Attack three, range two, flame strike. I lost my flame strike. I can't do flame damage. I'll say I'm just gonna go really quick on the boulder guy and just immobilize the the guy at the door. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if we can kill him real quick. He seems like really fast. Bro, I'm a rogue with an adjacent ally. If if they're isolated or they're adjacent to an ally, I do massive damage. So he he's dead. Can you do anything about the guys inside the door? Because I'm not tanking. I'm not supposed to tank. Uh, if I if I go to attack, I can't heal. I'm just gonna do Boulder guy. He's just healing this turn. Okay. At 29, I'll kill I'll kill these guys and then I'll I'll move away, and then we'll um collapse on them when they come to the door. I only have one card left on my tank. I guess I have to short rest. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, this, it, he's done. He's almost not a character anymore. Oh, you generated leaf? Nice. Or maybe I did. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't even used my soul use full potential. I need to line them up or get them next to each other and let my spell weaver go ham. I have a heal three range one. Can you use so the only real viable thing for my tank to do is just move to the side of the door and then attack. Send it. I'm hitting with both my units and then moving them back a little bit. He's shielding one retaliate. I won't be in range or melee range, so the retaliate won't matter. What? He can hit me from there? I literally threw a wall. That's broken. It's, I guess they don't really count as a wall, they count as a barricade. There you go, the traps. I mean, they're too yeah, keep running at us anyway. Pull and push cards are good oh. for that reason. Oh, he double caked up. Nah, I won't be able to kill, but at least... <laughs> Should be okay. I wish they would have moved up a little bit. Well, if you have push. I only have pull. Could really use push for the front guys. All right, do your thing, babe. Uh, sorry. Too much. Oh shit! <laughs> Gated one five one. Thanks for going. 
12, uh, 13, 26, 126, unfortunate. Your turn, your turn. Um... Can I see him which cards I've lost? I can't see him at this point. Uh, shouldn't need that. Nice! Just, yeah, yeah. just the tip. Sometimes RNG works in your favor. Kill combo. First element created. Oh, you create an element? Nice. Let me get it. So. Yeah, it's nice. We don't have a good way to deal with the Rangers. I don't know if they'll move over their own trap or not. They probably will not need to. They'll always have like a large range. We have to. We have if to we move anybody in the room, we're just going to die. We have to, they can shoot us. Hey, we can just keep retreating until they're at the door and then we can just storm them. I mean, like I said, with your brute, like losing cards, like endurance battles not going to win us anything. We fight to the death for loot experience. And if we lose, we go out and we, we try again with a better deck. Uh, you can just farm camp. I like I don't I don't remember the consequences of losing honestly. So uh, I think we go. I think whatever left of your brute, we send him in there. He does he has full health but no cards. So. Or, I don't need new cards. It sucks. Your Craig's full health. Yeah. Um, two move will get you in the doorway. So that'll that'll be a good start. But yeah. Brute's a, a meat shield now. Use him for all his HP and to tank up. Okay, he's giving me a 10 then. I can do a big move and at range 3 pull 2 I can pull the elite archer into that trap in the front and we can focus him but I need you to move with me. So that'll be next turn. Next turn you um, we're not going to move up that much so the ranger doesn't move back. But uh, next turn we're going, we're going in. So okay, okay. Um, up for that. Short rest. Uh, I bought I bought a bow on my archer and my scoundrel. I really shouldn't have bought that. It didn't come in clutch like I thought it might. All right, so the goal of this turn. I'm gonna attack the guy on the left, the six. Yeah, I'd love. It. I have range attack on my. On my scoundrel, I can. I'm gonna try for a range attack. I'm attacking this guy, and I'm gonna push him back. So attack the other guy if you can. What's your number? Because I'm fast on my scoundrel. Uh, ten and thirteen. So I should take the first turns. 10 and 13. I think the uh, the brood. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch up to a 32. That way, maybe maybe he can possibly get some attacks off if they if they just come to him. So my, 
My rogue is range 3 for the throwing knives, which is the doorway for both of them. Do I... Yeah, yeah. I, I can really move. go forward and get some gold. Yeah. I'm gonna go super slow on my scoundrel, and then if they move up, I can hit them and move, or... Pull to... that's next turn. So okay. Um, if they go slow, I can hit and move. Okay. Same strat. All right, the bandit guards are moving faster than my characters, which is what I wanted. And they are moving three. All right, my, my strats... Ooh, you should not... Well, I mean, I suggested it, so it's fine, actually, but, yeah. No, that's fine. Move three, attack two. Yeah, he's going to hit them. Ah, fuck, I selected the wrong one. Whatever. Whatever. My bad. That's my, that's my element. <laughs> he can't move. They're stuck. <laughs> How many turns do you think you have left on your brute? He dies next turn. Cards wise. Two turns max. Okay. What is what are the cards left? What what can you do with them? Uh, provoke. Uh, provoke. One has a movement. Has a movement. The, other the other two are basically, two are basically uh, uh, burn, burn for shield, for shield and, and like and melee, melee attacks. attacks. So I guess you burn them for a melee attack. Nice! We're crazy. Finally. 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 You never get. <laughs> Plus one experience. Uh, can't move in front of the tank or he's gonna die. Range, the archers. Pull two, range three. Archers are doing some serious damage. damage. I just move up one. I'm I'm going like here, dude. The, the archers will kill, kill you. Oh, they already won. Like your first. Okay. Okay. Next turn, I pull. I I have range three, pull two, so I can pull them into the trap. Um, ideally you send the brute into the archer that I pulled and hit him with a big melee attack. That'd be, uh, that'd be epic. And then we finish off the, the other, um, guy left over here. The tank only has pushes, not pulls. I have the pull. You need the tank okay. to move okay. forward and hit. Uh, he's gonna have a tough time getting through the traps, but you can try. You'll be fine, dude. Just go for it. Send your butt. It's fine. I need to get to the backline anyway to do rogue damage on backline archers. You, you know how MMO things go, right? Um. Man, this turn would be so different. I would fuck, up. fuck up. Do I confirm the kill on the two or do I hit the four? In your opinion? Um. Three damage. If you weaken one, I can probably kill one next turn, no matter what. So... Um, probably just kill one, I guess, so they don't shield up or something. How fast can you go on Craig? Um... 
I don't know what to say. Next turn, no, are you running no, forward? Uh, or are you Next turn, are you moving or are you doing damage? Because I need to do the other one. Uh, uh, Greg, dude's really slow actually next turn, so that's sort of fucked. So, can he do damage? He can, but it's not going to be fast. I just need him to, because he, he, Craig can take care of killing the guy right in front of him, with the four. Cause yeah, yeah, should be able to. Well, can he kill the two with, with a, a good amount of certainty? I think so. I think so. Or else, because I can, well, I can kill the two. We should be able to get, I should be able to get a attack on with both the tank and the yeah. Craig. Craig. Or at least with the melees, I can't guarantee the archers, but I think we can get. I think the two melees will die next turn, no matter what. All right, let me run you to the two paths. I think we can take here. I think either one's one fine. Path, one path is either we kill the two, and I kill, I pull, and move my rogue back. To, f to. F oh well, my rogue, could, my rogue either goes deep or pulls and then kites back. I think we just either... All go all in. Okay, then I'm gonna kill the two cost, and next turn you're gonna need to run in with me, and then yeah, we yeah. need to we need to kill the four four cost as like a drive by. Yeah, yeah. Does it make more sense to weaken him? Your Craig's not gonna move that much, anyway. Can your Craig do multiple area or just one? One area. You can probably do multiple, I think. That's all I need to do here. I thought for sure you are going to get minus one there. I thought for sure I was going to get no. I think you can move your spellcaster up to the either the right side behind the road. Pop my potion to get back one of my discarded cards. Um, mana bolt, yes. Frost armor. Next to sources of damage, you suffer no damage instead. Burn. Um, could be really valuable here to tank a few hits. And then ether. All right, I'm gonna frost armor next turn, burn that. and that's high priority, which is good. Ooh, she's one shot, even though I have the the cloak of invisibility. All right, buddy boy, this is the turn that decides if this ends in disaster or mediocrity of success. Oh shit, dude! I can pull this guy to range three into the trap, and then do a melee range attack. Oh, I wish I killed the two cost. Oh, I would have made such a huge play if I killed the two cost. I messed up. I could have moved into a space, pulled two, and then when he'd be adjacent to an ally, and then I would do a huge attack. Oh man. What's the fastest you can move at? Uh, for the tank, 18. For Craig, 41. 18. Oh god, will the archers move slower than 18 though? Or f oh god. You said you're going oh, super melee with Rogue? I could do some crazy shit on Rogue. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, older dude's gonna be super, super slow. slow. Alright, my. My spell weaver is gonna go frost armor, 
Next two sources of damage are no damage and generates element, but it's a oh. burn card. So I want her to go... She's 20, and then she's she's going to be the target of the archers, hopefully. Um... Okay, my, my, my scoundrel's got to pull and get the heck out. Maybe basically a pump and dump. Down, 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 down. Wait, why do I have to run? I'm 18 and 46, so my tank should be able to do something before he dies. All right, bro. My uh. I think we can win. I'm just playing around um numbers here with a uh, aggro. We definitely cannot win because we have another room, but uh, we can we can beat this room. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Definitely need that pull to disarm. I meant to say we can win this room. <laughs> it, it's it's fine. It's okay. I do think I have to mess around, mess around with the around tanks, like tank cards. cards. Yeah, I need you to move in. Well, I need you to kill us too. Well, I need you to move more as a priority. Yeah, fifteen was their their number, of course. I couldn't go any lower. No shit. Or cursed. You need to kill them. I could technically self heal. Self -heal. And add. And add. It's not worth it. I mean, really, it's my only option, like to do anything really this turn. Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, okay, I mean, you, as long as you can attack. I also generated her. Perfect. Kill the one behind me. Poggers? <laughs> um, Vaginas everywhere just dried up. <laughs> Liddy Poggers, dude. If you move your... Uh, well, Spellweaver can't move all the way up, but it may have a frost number for a lot of damage. Uh, if I hear yourself. Or just move, it doesn't really matter which. Three, six. I have a cloak of invisibility. You don't have to burn here if you don't want to. I can move on the gold and then cloak. Um. I don't know. I don't really want to be melee. They're not going to really be melee, though. Whatever. I'm yoloing. I don't really need the heal. Uh, I think I'm okay without the heal. Uh... 
Gimme, give gimme. Give Do it to him. <gasps> Go in between them and hit them both. Opportunity. I can't move, I can't that, move far. that far. You can move three. Oh. oh. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. What game are you playing? He has rigged. Damn rigged. shield. Oh well, you can short right next turn and do it again. Probably. You win this round, you bitches. Alright, my plan is to go to the back and start working on those guys. I, I'm also going to disarm one of the traps in front of the build, of the door so you can get in. Because you're just going to need to send your tanks in pretty much. Yeah, this was the tanks last turn. Are you going to be able to kill those guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, I think, I think that it's better for my crag board to target the two archers than the two melee, melee but we'll see how it plays out. Wait, 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 I can play without them. Because, um, my throwing knives is ranged, but I want to disarm trap. I mean, it's kind of weird to disarm the trap faster than killing enemies. But, um, yeah. we can play, we can be versatile here. What do you want to... Tank's 32, the boulder's 41, so they're both pretty slow. But if the tank lives, he should at least kill the one near him. I'm sorry, I was burning. I was doing my hand for the spell waiver again. Or short rest. Say that again. Tank 32, Boulder 41. If the tank gets a turn, he should at least kill the guy near him. Okay, so I should account for some fail save. Can't really use. I'll have to use impaling when we get in there. So I'll use, need to use these. All right, I'm gonna mana bolt to attack, and then I'm gonna heal myself with freezing nova, burning it. And next turn, I'm gonna get all my burn cards back. I'm about to go huge. Also, if you get some crag when you're playing what you're going to do, you just be more general. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit with one, and then I'm going to heal myself, burning it with the bottom. With my spellcaster. Um, I would like for you to start working your crag to the archers or the door. He's going toward the archer. archer. Yeah. Are you moving and hitting? Yes. Yes. He is a big move. Big move. So he should also take aggro, I think. If he gets closer. the turn first. Yeah, if he gets the turn first. You're pretty slow. And then... So your brute can maybe kill the guy in the back, and then I need my rogue to kill the guy with one? Yeah, probably. Chances are the tanker move, dies. I could move my rogue down to here and then hit him and him with like throwing knives. You might want your rogue away just so he doesn't take aggro from the archers. I don't know what your mage is doing or if they're gonna break invisibility and die or something. 
Um, I mean, you sh as long as you get priority. Yeah. I need to be here. Damn, I'm just one location out of the spot. I could to pull or to uh, I mean I could hit but uh to pull them Man you're moving at 34 32 32 32 Maybe I just uh, hit at high priority and then move my guy out so that he doesn't get hit by the archers or at least b back behind your Craig Hart. One, two, three. One, two, three. I can't hit both of them. Uh, I have a smoke bomb, but I don't think that's really going to be relevant. Yeah, you tied the archer. Move two, attack three at range three. Uh, are you okay? Did you lag out? I was tapped. Tapped. All right. Um, on my spell weaver. Archer is poisoned. Is your your bird's not moving at all, right? Could could it move? Uh, he, uh, he could move like two, but he's probably gonna die. Do we have element generated? We do not. Because I, I can kill either of the ones, obviously. I can do some damage to the five. The plan was to heal the full, and then I guess I just tank the shot. Either of my two would generate an element, probably. I think I hit and heal, and then tank some shots and I really don't want to burn I'll burn dude I'm gonna get anything discarded or burned back so I'll, I'll burn two discarded and then avoid damage all right that's the play hopefully I have enough discarded um trap you later
Um, I think maybe I hit first. How much? Do you do you know how much damage you're doing on Craig? Um, like four. Four. So if you, if you if you look at the name under the Crag, you see the two I selected. I'm planning to use Massive Boulder as the attack. Four. Attack three, range three, all us. Suffer one. So you're going to do three damage and then one to the guy next to it. At range three. One, two... One, two. Wait, what? No. no. Yeah, three and then three one, and to, then the one to the side. Are you jumping five? Yeah, I was going yeah, to. I was going to. Okay, so you're, immo you're immobilizing, but you're doing it after they move. And they're going to move to attack. So, what is it? The range three, so they'll, they'll go to max range and attack me. So they go one, two, three. So they'll they'll move here and here to attack me. I mean, there's nothing I can do to stop it with this move, obviously. But um, I need to kill the people next to me. Get the two for one. Two for one. I missed up my move. If you can't hit, just get some gold. Put him by the, the gold by the door there. Right? Alright, we're farming. Nice. Can't move. And no. Insane. Alright, you probably need to put your crag right here. One, two, three, four. And then attack the guy on the other side. Pog. Smoke bomb, I'm um, pull two, three, disarm adjacent trap. So I'll probably try to move. 70, 80. He's moving way too slow. Do I need to disarm the traps in front of the door? I mean, I have one that could. Oh, if you can get rid of, we need, we need to get rid of one of them. Unless, yeah, we can we need to get rid of one of them. I lost I my disarm, disarm, I think. Okay, I got one. Um, I guess I'll just guess kill I'll and get some, get some gold. Yeah, my spell weaver is in the spot I need to my, my... I can only move two. Would you rather my boulder just kill one of your dudes? Or should I just should focus, I just focus on, damage? on damage? I don't care about healing right now. We need to go. We need to get in that door and get in the blast room. Um, I just, I'm out of cards. I only have two for Scoundrel, a 12 and a 23. One for Disarm, but I can't move and get in place of the... I only have two move. Can you move your Brute, by chance? He's out of turns. So he's done this turn? Okay. Um... 
Short rest? Probably not a good idea. Oh, he's gone. Nice. Alright, I can I got the disarm for this one, so you just kill. Okay, I'll just kill. Can you fully kill or Yeah, I can fully kill. Okay. Perfect. I'm a fucking moron, I'm sorry. Okay. I just show rest next turn anyway. Yeah, my bad. I can't run through him? No. You just gonna smack him? <laughs> that works. He's disadvantaged, so he takes the worst of the two rolls, which was the plus zero. Yeah, so we should just like, just, like let's create archers. Yeah, they'll move away from you though on their turn usually. Got all my turn cards. I think next time I'm just gonna have my boulder run into his closest trap and open the door. Huh? Next time I'm gonna disarm. Oh, I thought you used it. I mean, you walked it. I could have done both. I, I'm massively. Okay. Okay. I guess I just don't move. I think boulder probably just heals next turn and it doesn't really do anything. Who's gonna kill that? Oh, if I need to, I will, I guess. I mean, yeah, you gotta let me pre plan that a little bit. Did I just go slow? I, just go slow? I mean, we're out of turns in about five turns. That's all we got left. Tops. Four turns. Yeah, I'm at 29. I'm basically my fastest one. Um, I can kill it with my spell weaver. Do you have a better play that's more passive? That would just be healing. I don't have anywhere really to move like better. Move here. Okay. Yeah, because um, um, I need, I need you to go in first next turn, so I need you to move in. No, I still think the same things. It's still ready. I have really. Do you have a way to move without hitting like the traps like last time, or did you? No, last time you were able to move through her, right? What's your What's your, what's speed? your speed? I haven't I haven't decided yet for a believer. My speed on Rogue is twelve, but it's just a disarm. I need this. Uh, when you find out, I need the speed of the one that's gonna kill the mob. 
What do you need to be? Whatever, Whatever you want, you want. Just, just tell me when you figure it out. Is it better if it's slower or faster? I, I need it doesn't matter. Just tell me what it is. When you find out. Let's open the door now, so we can start going on the next turn. That works too. Better idea. Send in the door. Uh, it'll trigger their turn, though. I know, but I don't think it's a good idea to trigger their turn. Um, as I recall last time, it's a bunch of archers. We're running out of turns, right? Yeah, I'm just saying. Like next turn, at least we can have a, a like movement set up to go in and attack, rather than. End the turn, opening the door for them to take their round of turns, and like they get like they get an extra turn on us, which is kind of funny. Why didn't you move closer to my rogue before you did that? Go ahead, come on. He's not a car uh, wheel. Yeah, he's got one more. Send it. Wait, what? What? What turn are you gonna open the door? This turn. This is my last. These. I mean, like, what, what speed? Ten. Uh, I can't move very much. I can't pull it, I didn't move it on. Um, I can go in like eighty three. <laughs> I'll just do that then. Do that then. Move two and then snow five. I was gonna loot to yeah. Invisible self. Are your next tactical will gain W the value attacking game too? So I can't actually use it because this is my last turn. I thought you were gonna open the door. I can't move, dude. Oh, 
Plus, I never once said I was going to open the door. I mean, you're the tank character. <laughs> Thanks, dead dude. dude. Craig's a tank. <laughs> Why? I don't even know how that works. That ability works, to be honest. Kicking through the door. Nothing. Can finish him off. I'm going to jump to the back line and hit the back line. Okay. Kill off the guy that you killed. Take it. Take it. What's his item? Is it hide armor? Or? He has no defensive items. He has a pot. He has a potion though. A health po half potion. There's a lot of gold in that room too. There's a treasure chest in the back left. Those are usually really cool. Oh shit. I have an ability to ignore shield. I don't know why you attack the shielded person right now. Because I have an ability to ignore shield, I just said it. Where is that? I don't see it. Uh, why didn't I get to use it? Oh, it's on uh, my scoundrel. Apologies. I'll kill it next turn though. Then I get the treasure chest. Diamond Freak loots. Oh, loots something. Did I get two gold or something? I move my boulder forward in between the two lines and I'm gonna hit on each side. Yeah, focus the four guy. Wait, um. Can you point? Is it a, a move in between and then like an AoE around. Like a six at around it? Uh, just, I'm just gonna hit two targets around me. Okay. I don't really have a really large AoE anymore. That's not. I'd have to. Sh I may. I, should I short rest? No, I can't get it. You got short rest. Uh, unstable people. Target all adjacent enemies. It's probably better. So, I can hit. I have an ability that goes like in a straight line. Each uh, enemy it goes through, it deals three damage. I, I kind of want to do it on the uh, like the archer back line. So can you focus the right side, not the one, but the one with the five and the fives, on the 
focus like Do you want the melee hits or the rangers to die? Rangers. Yeah, I can move really quick and attack. I'll take the first turn with 13. Ooh, um... So I have a flame strike, which can consume the fire element that's here right now to do three at range two. I mean that skeleton. Uh, you either finish off the two farthest archers or target the two skeletons around me. So with flame strike, these two melee or these two ranged. I can't finish off anybody. Do you mean? I'm gonna do damage to all of them. I'm gonna do AOE damage around me. How much? Uh, attack three targets all adjacent enemies. You're doing three to mark the enemies you're doing and how much? I'm planning to move here. So I hit everything three. adjacent. So, Which I mean, does not this, include this, this part of one. Adjacent. Should I move here instead? But yeah, I, I don't move here. Move here. Move, move here. here. I get, I get, yeah, I can move there. Because I can kill the one archer, and then I can kill all the other guys that are getting hit. I'm just gonna send it. Yeah, just send yeah, it. Just send it. Oh, you're first. That's crazy. Maybe we can clear this if we. Oh, it doesn't want to move anywhere. I can't move through anything. Then use it. At this point, so defer is the archers, probably. Read this uh, ability impaling eruption. For each enemy targeted, okay, so you can get three skill points for that for targeting the farthest archer. Yeah. And then after that, I guess you just move and get some gold or something. Ha! <laughs> your, your luck fucking sucks. What the fuck did you do today? Be so unlucky. I don't want to talk about it. We don't talk about it. That's a lot of damage, but we die this turn, actually. Yeah, we really need to kill the back line. Now we're going to take too much damage, anyway. Uh, four is a lot. I mean, you can try to get around that. Dude, what the fuck? Like, everything that could go wrong to you just goes wrong to you. To some degree, yeah. You gotta burn something. I'll put me out of cards, but whatever. Yeah, it's, it's over. This is last turn. HP is not what matters, cards are what matters. Retaliate. Oh, the way, that's how I messed up with, um... Take damage. I kept burning for a reason. Yeah, you did. But that's a, that's a lesson learned kind of deal. Alright, you gotta deal with that.
We got some gold. I got the treasure chest. Do you got the traps? All right. Is that GG's for the day? We go again. Uh, I'm down to call it from there. It was like almost three hours. Yeah, it's a lot of slow, methodical work. Um, but we're not done. Do we go back to town? I think. I did return the map. Hey. Yeah, I think we have to get sent back to the Gloomhaven. We get another city encounter. Gotta do groceries this weekend. Should probably do some laundry. I hate that the only two meals I have left are soup and Tex-Mex meal. I want to keep that. I don't have anything to go with that. I two Tex-Mex. I probably have to make the Tex-Mex then. Are you waiting for other players? Gloomhaven loading screen. I'm fixing my tanks, my tanks cards. cards. I haven't even gotten out yet. <laughs> I'm I'm caged. Okay, that looks that looks better. better. Yeah, I think Brutes felt, I mean, it's a simple, it's the easy difficulty class. I played burn cards and I wasn't paying attention to my damage, or taking damage. Gotcha. Well, I'm just at a permanent loading screen, I'm not sure what's going to happen. If I got DC'd or anything. Everything auto saves, so I'm not worried about progress. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to get out of the sliding screen. I, I guess you have to wrap it up on your side. Whatever you see. I'm just at the world map. Yeah, you just show them. Um, I don't know if I can hit any buttons to get out of the side there. You excited for D4? Mildly. Mildly. I, I, I'm already I'm expecting already it to be, to be overall disappointment, but I think it'll be fun for a little, for a little bit. bit. <laughs> it's right. It's just pay. Oh yeah, you can heal a person to get rid of poison. Oh, it doesn't go away until they're healed. That's why my scoundrel had poison the entire game. Oh, yeah, that was my bad. Then I should have healed him. I didn't know that. I forgot that too. I just wanted to. Oh, like a one turn thing. I mean, we could probably, I, I'd be down to go again, but I also would be fine not going again. Well, we, next I think we could play quicker the next next time around. Yeah, um, I'm, you are a little slow, which you already noticed I before. Am. Yeah, I mean, now that I've done it, though, as long as I learned combos, it'll be quicker. We didn't get much XP from that. Right? I think I ult F4 did. I, I'm a, a waiting for other players' Gloomhaven waiting sign. Okay, just go back and I'll bite you. Yeah. Soda Poppin is live. Aspen's watching a Soda Poppin vid. How that? Oh, he's watching, who is watching Miskiff die? Oh, uh, you watched him yesterday when they were doing the OTK? I'm, just, I'm watching you guys right now who's watching React content. For, uh, for, uh, watching content. Seer showed up for the uh, the initiation meeting, made his role, made the character, leveled for like two hours, and then turned off his stream and quit. I don't know if he died, but I was watching Soda, and Soda just like all of a sudden tuned in and Seer's stream turned, turned off. 
He's like, that motherfucker quit. There shouldn't be playing a game like World of Warcraft. Correct. That's why it's a meme. Who are you listening to? Alright, I'm in the game. Miss Kev rage like an idiot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's yelling at Russell for killing him. Cause he's a fucking... I hate Miss Kev. He's like one of the streamers I'll... I'll, I'll him and XTC will well, never watch on principle just so I hate who they are. Same. Uh, I'm in game. I can't see the invite anymore. Can you re try resetting it? Can I join? No, I can't right left click to join or anything. Jesus Christ, 30% volume, it's so not loud. I'm joining in. Oh, we, we haven't even seen stunned affixes. Uh, waiting for players to have mercs assigned. Hold on. Hold up. Yeah. Put some marble snap in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Uh, do I need to sign you again? Yep. What the heck? The kids had soccer games today, and they're going on a uh, a farm like wagon ride. It's hella cold outside. It looks like too as well. Oh shit. <laughs> At least in, uh, right, they went to a farm or, and for like wagon rides and you know those big straw things they put out in the middle of the of the fields with the uh, the bundled hay. Hey, yeah, the the farm has like all those in a big like square area all next to each other, and the kids are all running around jumping on the tops one to the other. And Alicia's like, Alicia put up a Snapchat. Who the hell are those kids on top of those? And then at the bottom, oh wait, they're mine. Kind of clever. Uh, well, do we just want to do the encounter every time? I mean, it's a campaign. You have to beat the first mission quest. But the city encounter seems like gives you a new quest every time. If you. Oh no! City encounters are just like events. They're not quest related. Uh, reading one, you learn that. Just go help for reputation. That's the church. Yeah, let's go help. We lost a perk point, though? I mean, we didn't have any perk points in the first place. We failed our side missions. So I think it's fine. I don't think we go negative. Pretty sure. Where do I see the perk points? Yeah, we're still at zero. So that's perfect. We go again? Yeah. Alright, we have one to the left too. Well, the unfortunate. I just thought quest, so quest. It has a lot of troublesome mobs. Look at those elementals. Or golems. And then the other ones are like kobold looking creatures. Yeah, yeah. Alright, the cards I didn't take, do I feel like I want them? Looting, no. I made quite a few made changes. changes. Attack 3, range 4. Bow, 
Would I rather have an attack 3 at range 4 with, and then I'm bottom with move 2 and then loot every hex you um, move over? Or a synergistic card with my um, smoke bomb to attack 3 um, plus 1 attack for each of your allies adjacent and then consume the darkness from the smoke bomb to do plus 2 instead of plus 1 and then get experience. I think with the archers running in really quick and then smoke bombing and then sending the tank in and then and then like trying to AOE kill him all real quick will be really good. Well this would be my like, yeah this is sister opportunity would be like um, after you send the tank in, I come out of smoke bomb, I hit with this and then we do, we blow one up. We blow up one of the archers. Because this sinister opportunity will deal like six damage. Well, I mean, five damage, yeah. So, all right. Um, so Where are you going 30. To call? Is there anything I want to get rid of? Yeah, single out. All right, I got rid of one of my shitty rogues for good rogue ability. All right. Crackling air on your next four attacks, add plus one attack. Burn. Um, do you generate any air? Uh, wind element? I have one to generate wind. Are you looking? How much wind do you generate? Uh, I don't generate a lot of wind. I have like one for a movement thing, I think. That's about it. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna worry about them. It's not realistic right now. You need to generate on your own first. Yeah, it's a burn for the wind. It's not worth it. Uh, Harden spikes, retaliate, aura, affect self and all adjacent allies. I can give retaliate as an aura, and it's a plus three if I consume. Uh, grass ah, there's an, a there's a like a, a redo a circle icon on some of my cards I don't remember what it means I don't know where to find the tooltip for it yeah no tooltip which card oh, oh. like tinkers or or I'm looking at hardened spikes but just look for anything with like a clockwise arrow icon. I think it comes back to your hand or something. It's some kind of redraw. No, uh, oh, that just means it's a lasting effect. I'm sorry. That's what it means. So it's a retaliate aura for allies it's, and it's a burn card. So I basically have to commit to being like with you and the brute and one turn we're gonna hit, get hit by everything and we just do a massive retaliate like wall. I think retaliate's pretty pretty relevant in this burrow. <sighs> yeah, I mean like we could do that at the door frame with the skeletons. Potentially. Yeah, both the second and the third rooms are right. Actually, it's, it's relevant all of them because we just stand in melee and get face tank. It's a burn so I can, only, I can do it twice, um, so. Yeah, if possible, save for the end. For the end. Okay, that's I don't have that in yet. I need to discard one that I don't need. All right, fire orbs is a massive AOE. That's huge. Impaling was one at the end for the archers. That was huge. It's really hard to use in this in the first two rooms though. Uh, actually, no, it's not that hard to use. I can use it in the first room and the the third room. So that's fine. Our other required. Freezing Nova felt really not good a lot. I'm gonna take that out. Okay, I'm ready. Um, I see the city encounter thing popping up, but... Oh, it's the accept quest. Oh, gold. I didn't spend my gold. Damn it. Everyone needs to end this thief. You, you have what enough for a um, uh, health potion? I mean, I had 10 on my spell weaver, yeah. I already have a, a potion on her, though. 
I'm pretty sure we don't need right? right? Yeah. Considering starting for a meal, what? Oh, I didn't even read it. I thought you were talking about something else. I guess I decided that. If they're good berries, we get buffed. If they're bad berries, we get debuffed. The hell is easy enough to moving. As you just. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yes. Opener. My rogue. Be the first to kill a monster during the scenario. Perfect. Easy pickup. The other one is on. None of your eyes become exhausted. No shot. Diamond freak. Loot five or more gold. Yeah. All right. Let me. Uh. Let my spell. My uh. Spell weaver be doing the. The looting as much as possible. All right, we got this. Easy peasy. The adjustments from last time are the brood discards. We need to keep him alive more. We our healing was pretty good. I'd I'd love to heal a little bit less and do more damage, or at least like um, have Take bigger turns. Take care of these unfortunates. Your target we'll says, backing out of the room. You can vaguely make out his silhouette as he retreats down a hallway and through a door. Watch your... Alright, so I need, I need my rogue to get the first kill. Um, I think same strategy as last time, go right. If you... You really can't put your brute by the back right guy, can you? Um, we can also let them come to us. But Do I need to go super quick and move, and move into, that into that top right pack? Right pack? Into the only if we, can, only if we can kill something. The problem is like um. Oh, you'll be able to be a jester over. Faster over. Yeah. So I'm I'm going to. Move two spaces forward and then use uh, retaliate for self. That's not a burn. Okay, what priority? Uh, it can be sub. It's basically going to be sub twenty, so like ten or eighteen. Okay, I'm thinking I move my spellcaster after you. I I need my mage to soften up the back corner six. So that my rogue can kill it. Unless I have a one shot. Let me see if I have a one shot. Yeah, I don't have a one shot. I need to shoot from range with my rogue and my spellweaver or my mage, but I need, to, I need to move my mage up a little bit. So are you, are you moving at 10 or 18 for your root? That's fine. Um, any elements? Um, I think I'm going to spawn first and then consume it. Okay. Are you hitting the back uh, six corner at all? Top right? Yeah, I'm gonna use a range attack on my crag. You're gonna hit the the three on the right. Uh, you talking these three? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna target one. I, it's range five, so I just might barely be in range of one of them. One, two. I'm really trying to kill this guy. Okay, are you gonna? Hit, can you hit him? And how much damage can you do? I cannot hit him. I can only hit these two. How much can you do? Uh, one, one two, two, three, four. Three, okay, never mind. I get, I get the one. Okay. The the range tech um, though is thirty eight, so it's gonna be after you, after you take, your turn. take your turn. I mean, it doesn't have to. I can go slower because I need my rogue to kill. So my rogue has to get healing, killing blow. So how, how much how much are you doing, and when are you doing it? Uh, attack 2, range 5, and also immobilize, if I consume the earth. 
And you're generating the earth with brute or your crag's other card? Uh, other card. Uh, other card. We'll uh, create the earth. Yeah, I think that works. I shouldn't kill anything, so... I think if you're like 40 or 50-ish, you should be fine. I want my mage to be here, so I need your rogue out of the, or your guy out of the way. Yeah, he, he's gonna... Tank's gonna move. He's gonna move to here, I think. Or I think I should move him here so these guys can't wail on him. I'll move him here. Do you want hardened spikes for the retaliate aura this room, or do you want it next room? Not not this turn. Um, I'm already doing a retaliate, and do you want this room? Because if I use the card, it goes. Is it a burn? I'm I'm about to use it for movement. Oh, I don't really have to actually. I think I think you can use it for movement because we're not going to need it for a while. Right now we just need to be focusing down targets and letting the tank take the hits and not get older. Yeah, your brood is eighteen or ten, so I I can go twenty and I'm okay. He's going ten, so he, he should take the first turn for sure. Okay, my my mage is going twenty to hit the back guy. And then you're hitting the back guy, and then my rogue's gonna come in at the end of, at the end and finish it. So, ah, uh, your crag's going really slow. So I had to go last, last. Your crag's moving 43? 38? I don't know. What you picked that uh, number for? 30... I have a 33. That'd be perfect. Move 3 poison. Attack 3 poison. Alright, so I'll move at 60 with my scoundrel and I'll finish it off with a 3 attack poison. And get experience. Alright, let's see how it rolls. Their, their movement's gonna mess it up. Okay. Send the brute. Right here, right? I think that's where I'm going. That's fine, because that means the guy on the right side corner is just get, not gonna move up one. And you'll get more retaliate. Yeah, this would actually have been a hella good ranged spikes turn. Maybe I should have. Huh, maybe I should have. Retalia goes through shield. Nice. Yeah. Pretty sure the hide armor just does minus one on attacks. That should be lit. Ooh. Perfect, easy kill. Oh, um, make sure you don't kill any, any don't kill anything. Soften up elites or the ones by you. I need to get the first kill on my scoundrel. You have an attack four for the two. No, just you. You have an attack four. Oh, it's a burn. I mean, it's kind of worth it. If 
that's not gonna do anything. I'm sorry, I just want to see what it did. Okay. Now I can't move my characters. Yeah, I did sort of block him in, didn't I? But very interesting uh, use of my ability, though. Not a big deal. I get, I get altered the terrain. What if I just block a door? And then we just wail on archers and the melee can never move at us. I mean, eventually we're going to run out of cards, though, so we can't wait that long. Alright, time to get time to get to work. We gotta do a uh, big damage this turn. Let's see. Five e four. The two needs to die, obviously. I'm gonna shield the tank. Okay. Remember, priority is order. So, how fast is your tank going? Fifteen. Okay. Yeah, I can harden spikes. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna sweeping blow for all three of these ones around me as well. So I think the, 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 for two damage. So the the two guy in the middle should just die, but these two shield ones are gonna live. And then I'm gonna have the the crack heart just like a we around him and then move away. I'm gonna help you kill these two elites. The crack heart will have to. Solo the two on the left. Ah oh, man, that's a that's a burn. I'll we'll do that. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna burn for fire orbs. Attack three, range three, target three. I'm gonna attack the two elites and the six closest to us. I'm going to move the crack card here, and then... Oh, man. I'm healing your brute for three with my spell weaver. I don't think that's entirely necessary. I think just killing off one of these two sixes on the sides, or at least doing some damage to them, or or actually killing the, the elites and focusing them down. I mean, otherwise I'm moving or I'm attacking for two. So if I heal, my priority is seven, I go first. If I don't heal, I go flame strike, and uh, that's all I wanted to follow up with. Though it's not that important, actually. Whatever, my priority is six on spell weaver. Then should be fine. All right, so my my rogue is gonna kill the one over here.
Let's go. Nice. We have an insane turn priority. Yeah, I think I think the elites are gonna be hard to kill this turn, but most of the other things should be either dead or close to dead. There you go, baby boy. Insane. Nice. In the main brain. That was super, He's super, super dead. good. Alright, our win chance of this dungeon just went way up. Attack first? I just always do the thing I prioritize first. Because I messed up last time. Oh, you crit. And you completely whipped on the left. That one was easy to kill anyway. I mean, I guess I got it. Yeah, I got it. Don't hurt me. Nice. Now they're muddled, so they have disadvantage on their hits or whatever. You can just stay in place, I think. Nice play. <laughs> yeah, because it was a ranged attack. If you, have a, have if a you didn't play, play those rocks there, you could have moved on the gold and did... Oh, you would have hit me, though. Never mind. Yeah. yeah. I would not have been able to move there. I wanted to move here, but I can't... I, 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 I didn't fly, I guess. I should just... I... I, I, I Let's see how it goes. Minus one. Expected rolls. Expect a patronum. Do I talk to the elite or the three? Probably the three. Uh, the three. Uh, the three. Oh, baby, let's go. That was the best possible see. thing to happen there. Yeah, and I saved you a damage cow. Easy. Strength, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna go to where this elite's gonna die next turn and do a fat move. Okay, we can probably kill everything and I sort of want to heal the tank. I can do that. I, I, my, my boulder has a lot of heal moves, so I can just do that. I have a heal 3 with range 1 though, just and we're in position for it already. You can save your boulder's heal for next rune, because they're more ranged. And I'll short rest before then, so it'll be fine. I can get these two with my uh, loot 1. But then I can't, I can't move, which is the issue. Oh, it's my spellweaver has the battle objective to loot a lot, but I don't. I don't have a loot ability, so it doesn't really matter. Can you kill this, you kill this one, over here? one over here? I don't really want to attack him with my crack heart. I can if I, I can if I need to, but I don't really want to. I can. Uh... I mean, is there a better move instead? Because I, I probably just take care of them, probably. Um. So let my spellweaver kill the two. Let your crag move to the door. Let your brute kill the other two and move to the door. Let my scoundrel loot two and try to get everything in the room. Right here. If I'm right here, I loot everything. 
with a with a loot too. So I need to be the last to go. So I'll do 93 priority and then loot two. And I just need you to kill. My spellweaver can kill the at least one of them because I have a range of. Three. You want to be here? Be here. Don't want what to be there. You want to move someone there? I don't care about moving anybody. They all they all need to die. Oh yeah, I'm gonna move my um my rogue there. Okay. Okay. Does that, does that, that means I can't use a move too. Yeah, I can't get there to loot if I'm. Oh, and the loot's a burn. Dude, that's so dumb. Never mind. Get to get to looting individually. Try to get your loot one. I have a loot one that's not burn. I can use. Yeah, try to try to kill yours and then. The problem is I need to move them. first. <sighs> try okay with your brute. Try to kill this mob, and loot and in the space. I'm gonna move my rogue one for the loot and the spellweaver one. Your crag needs to kill and loot, or maybe I can kill and your crag can move up and loot. Or just loot one and let's move on. After he kills. Hey, let me set up my tank real quick. My tank's gonna try to kill the elite. Yeah. I'll make my rogue as a backup plan for the elite. Yeah, I'm good. I'm going pretty fast as well, because I don't want to take more damage unnecessarily. Ah, uh, it forces me. Oh, it doesn't really force me to burn. Alright, let go. I'm going first. Oh, they're so, oh, they're slow, so man. slow, man. Get your bag. Do you need an element? No, I don't. No, I don't. Heaven above. Forgive me for I ascend. You didn't send your movement. Well, your, your loot, I mean, but uh, I guess you can loot next turn, yeah. At this point, I don't need to loot because we can all just move on to the gold. Uh, you picked your cards really weirdly because if you attack with the top, you have to burn and you not, don't want to do that. So you have to use the bottom. Yeah, then you disadvantage rolled minus two, which is really close. Move cl close to the door, right? Let ah, I me mean, just move on the gold. I can just loot I one, loot I think. One. Yeah, I mean, if you do it at the start of your turn, it's so. fine. Alright, next turn you're busting through that door. I can, uh. I can heal you because I'm still in one range. I can heal you for three. What do you think? I only have two cards left in my Spellweaver. Um, hardening Spikes. 
Holy yeah, shit. Yeah. Holy shit. Do you have huge movement? Because we have earth up, and I can burn earth on my hardened spikes to give you retaliate three. Oh, wait. I have to be next to you, though. I have to... Be... I have move three, push two, which can get me in there. And I move three and generate wind. Um, I, I don't think this works, though. I think even if I cast hardened spikes, you have to be next to me for it to work. As in, you have to... I move mean, it's really slow, so if you, do it, if you do it quickly, I can just burst through. Well, you, it's not like I activate it, then you leave, and it works. It's like I activate it, and you leave, and it doesn't activate it. It doesn't work on you anymore. It's like an... It's like aura around, around my character. Or around my character. Oh, I think. Or it says retaliate two, and then below it says aura affect self and all adjacent allies. So it's retaliate two for me and my adjacent allies. So I don't think we can set this up unless we bait them in. But we can just do it next turn. So it's basically a throwaway turn. Yeah. yeah. How much are you moving? Both my cards I'm are moving. Just moving through the door. Are you not going in the door? No, because then they'll all do their turn without. Well, if you do your things really slowly so that my tank goes first. Yeah, I can I can move slow. Well, okay, my thought was just to finish where your t wherever your tank goes, my spellweaver just ends somewhere next to you. Oh, uh, I guess maybe I could be fast and then do that. Are you going to go through the door this turn? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. We can. We have we have earth set up, so we can make use of the I, earth retaliate. I, my, I, I'm going to be 27 then on initiative, so you need to be behind that. I have 26 and 80. But 80 is too slow, because then they'll like hit you before I get by. Do you want me to generate an element, or does it not matter? doesn't matter. Can you move fast? You can't move faster than 26? No, I can't. No, I can't. Fuck. It's one number off. That's so unlucky. I mean, I could short rest. If I short rest, I get like flame, flame strike. And then I only have two move, which isn't enough. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's a way to play this, actually. So, I, I'm 2680. You're 27. I would love to go 26, and then... But if you were 25, it'd be perfect. But then I'd go before you, and it won't work. If I play 80, I'm probably going at the end of the turn, which is after this would happen, so it wouldn't work. Uh, if I short rest, all I get is 20 and 36 as the other options for time. 20 is first, 36 is... Why am I to open the door? Just in case I wasn't oh. clear. I am planning to open the door. Are you stopping in the door frame? I'll basically be one in front of the door frame. Unless I want to go back, which I just want to go forward. So you're going to end here? No, the other side of the door. Here. Because you should just end here, and then I can move here. And then I can um, put the retaliate aura on you, anybody who hits you. In melee range, uh, only well, I guess everybody. Do that next turn. Everybody oh, you, here you, can hit you. I want to keep moving forward and just doing range attacks. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm my, my last two cards for Spellweaver, so I have to. I, I'm going to use that. I'm sure rest next turn anyway. anyway. This turn isn't anything huge. If you have range, use it. Otherwise, just like position right. yourself. Are you gonna finish here? I mean, I get, it doesn't matter. I'll just move my. I'll just move here. I got three. I got three movements. So. so. There we go. So I'm not. And my scoundrel. I'm not setting him in right. One, now. two, three. I mean, I have nothing to do with my scoundrel. I have a throwing knives at long range, but I'll be. You can I'll be you can throw knives from here, right? Because uh, no, 
This is this is a legitimate wall. You cannot go. Th- they I'm hit us through sure. last time. They, I mean, it was because right it was a short because it was a halfway barrier. It was like it was like a D four like wooden barricade, dude. This is a legit wall. I First one open wall. the wall. You can hit through here. Pretty sure you can't. Trust me. The problem is like, oh, I wish I could go a lot slower. Cause there's nothing I can do until the doors open. Fuck, I could loot too. That's too far away. Send it. Don't block the door. Oh, I think I have jumped, so it doesn't matter. You can block the door, actually. I mean, if your character should be the one to block the door, since we could put Retaliate on it, and they can't get you through. You just do two and then invade if you want. Uh, I guess it's sort of a waste of burn, but... Just see what happens. Jesus, fuck, I'm retarded. Yeah. Nice, you got lucky. It's a shield turn. <laughs> Next turn we do retaliate strat. Yeah. My yeah. Spell, I need you to stay there. Put every every defensive on yourself you can. Like the the card that gives you like minus one after every attack and you get experience. It's a burn, but I mean, if if ever there was a time, holy shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crag, you can move him up and do a huge AOE next turn. Yeah, we can we can get pretty aggressive here. We won't have the green for next turn. So I can push into the trap. You want to move in? Yeah. Yeah. Can you move your um, spellcaster here, and then I can be here or something? Or should I be here? But then I can't push. Sorry, sorry. Go again. Um, I was burning. I'm, I'm. I don't know whether I should put my tank here or here. Both work, but if I if I go here, I can push the guy into the trap. And then you need to put your mage here with retaliate, and then I'll open this up for the rogue and the older guy. I can put it here. I think I should the tank here. You should put the spellcaster here with the aura. Okay. Aura. So uh, my tank is only 32, 32. unless I short rest and get some more things back. How many cards do you have left? All of them. But they're all, uh, there's only the two I have for this turn, unless I short rest. I mean, like, you said you have to short rest, like, how many cards do you have left in hand that you can use? Two. Two. So it's your last turn, yeah, okay. Yeah, it just, it, it doesn't really give me a speed yeah, choice. choice. 32 is the lowest, lowest card. 32 is not too bad for the... You're, you might get a lot of archers. Well, the archers, if they move before you, they'll move up 
first, which will be good. So 32 should be fine. And then my cracker card, I'm mostly just positioning and healing. He's going really slow. So you can move your uh, rogue up first and then nail one of them. Um, I think I need order. So I got... You need order food? I was considering either ordering something or just like making something here, but... Saturday, you know? Weekend just for good food. Yeah, I usually can pick something up on the weekends. Yeah, in case you didn't hear earlier, I'm 32 on the tank, so he's slow, but I think you need to go after him, not before him. I'm 26. There's only a 6 difference. I don't think that works then. I think you should not use the 26. You should Why? use some slower. This works. This works. I go 26, I put him there, I put on the retaliatory, and then you move in front of me. You can't move anywhere unless you have jump. I have jump. Okay, and you're gonna put the mage here? Yeah. Okay, I just hope they don't get like attacked and killed or something. Unless they have between 26 and 32. Yeah, you're right, it's fine, fine. Um, my bow allows me range attacks to bypass shields, so I want to hit that elite with my range attack. So it has to be throwing knives, which is a range of three. Everybody's in my way. I'll just go slow. So I'll go ten. Save that for next time. All right, and away we go. Yeah, it's the road, just like if you can kill anybody, just kill them. Yeah, let's see what happens. I wish I could see my card. I forget if I needed to pick up a discarded card or not. I don't think I do though, I just short rested. Alright, get in there, buddy. Push him through both. Yeah. <laughs> Huge player. Forgot about that. Unlucky. <laughs> Next turn I'll heal.
The archer can't move. I may not thought that one the other one. Uh, I'm losing all my cards now. Yeah, I see that. Do what must be done. I should have just short rested that turn, that fucking sucks. Um, I, do we hit the go button, or... I mean, we could probably win without the Craig at, or Brew at the end, as long as we keep pushing up and... ...getting some uh, progress. Cause I, I have my smoke screen and... I have some, I have some sick moves for the last room. On my two characters. Hell, I have, a, I have a sick card for this room. On my spell weaver next turn. I'm pretty, did I block you? I think I did, but... I know what to do. Okay, now you're fine. Oh, you're the archers, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna hit the elite with a shield because I have the ability to bypass. Okay. okay. The question: Should I hit the elite? Yeah. Should probably hit the elite. <laughs> Minus two. Motherfucker. <laughs> So the uh, the, uh, the uh, Kalyush's shield, shield, shield is now pointless, pointless because, because of the rogue being there. It's a true statement. The play was so slow, I forgot about it. Plus, they only moved one. I'm pretty well. I didn't check it ahead of time. I think they were only moving one, though. I think that push was too much. Whatever, we're yodeling. Uh, we need to play faster anyway. Um, can I get any ally adjacent to any enemies this turn? Or what do you think? What are you saying? What are you saying? Will you be next to any enemies this turn? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I can't yeah, jump I can't anywhere, jump so I'm just gonna have to move, move like, like here. here. Like, how fast can you move? I wanted my tank to be here, but. How fast do you want me to be? I don't think it matters. It, we can't make any ally adjacency work because then I have to move and you have to move. I have to hit and get out. I don't see another player. How fast do you then? For the, for the rogue, obviously you want to be really quick. I mean, I'm single digits, but I have to... I don't have a play besides hitting and running away. Are there any traps? No traps left. Yeah, all I can do is hit and run. And then on my mage, I was in. I was thinking of doing impaling eruption. 
We need to start hitting a lot of enemies. The problem is I can't hit with all four. I can hit with three though, which we'll have to do. How am I gonna end up though? Send it. My Scoundrel's gonna hit and move a little bit back. My Spellweaver is gonna move here and do the four direction cost. The melee is just gonna shield. The melee are just going to shield. Should I hit the elite or just should I just hit the... I should hit the other one. I think either option's fine. Okay, if I got a plus one, I could have killed it maybe this turn. Just don't block the, block the door. I was wondering if I should move out, back into the other room. I was thinking like all the way to the back, back corner. Because I feel like if you go too far, you're not gonna be able to get back into the fight. And then. I can't make a good play like I want to. I can work with that. If you can hit A in the melee, that's fine. Otherwise, like, this person or this person are good targets. But mostly, like, these two are the... Need to die. I have a move two and then an attack three at range four. Or a attack two at range three, but not as much value. But primarily a move two attack four. Uh, these guys have shield and retaliate. Uh, can't do anything with melee. Also, my crag is going to be hitting all these guys for damage and trying to kill this. I can do that though. <laughs> can your crag move in between like... Crag is going here. These? Crag is going here. Yeah, I was thinking of moving here and doing like one, two, three, four and hitting each of those for three and then killing the elite ideally. Uh, except these two, the archer could take a turn so you can't be in front of him. It'd be like here or here. Or here here or here. I mean I could take a hit. Should I just take a hit? I don't think you should be. Well your your tank went first, so even if I move here, this elite's still gonna hit you because you went first. I'm worried about these guys. I don't care about this these two. At least not on this turn. They already took their turn. Well, I, I can't. I can ideally kill him, and these guys will hit him. Well, if I'm here, pretty decent damage. 
I don't know, it's close. I need to get used out of this ability though. Cause like I can move here and then hit boom. I'd rather you just, hit, rather this just guy. hit this guy. You want me to hit him? Yeah. Yeah. I can do that. I came to die. So you got burned or attack? In that case, you have to hit this guy, don't you? Oh, that works too. That works too. I hate my life. Why you? Why you? Uh, scuff my game. really have to use it there. I thought it'd be a good idea. <laughs> Block the crit, Giga Chad. That's what how much for it's an item. He's toast, yeah. Like, there's a cool thing we can do with Spellweaver is where I can take damage and burn cards and then bring all my burn cards back. At like a last desperation play. You gotta kill stuff this turn. You chose the wrong ability, didn't you? <laughs> it's cursed. We're on our last legs. This is this guy's last turn for the tank. Because I had to burn four cards due to damage earlier. What do I need to do? Do I need to get rid of somebody? I can pop somebody. Kill anybody. I mean, the elite with six and the archer with five are the two priority targets. Which needs to die more? Ah, if it was one away. Pull two at range three, I'm too far away. Let me see what I can do on my spell weaver. I'm a little too far away. Can I use the element? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I can hit with my three for range three. I can take out the elite archer that way. And I can position my scoundrel behind the five archer and work on him. This is not an available, like we can't stand here, can we? 
Where? Yeah, you should be able to. It has to be here. Has to be here. Oh. oh. Okay, then. Okay, then. Try that. Try that. It looks like you should be able to stand there. Alright. My, uh, I'm getting rid of the elite archer of my spell weaver and sending my scoundrel to the f bot right behind the five. Kind of like a shadow step. You clean up on the right as best you can, or on the top as best you can. Well, it's a three v three man last room. I'll need you to go with Craig Hart and go in heavy. <laughs> Pog. <laughs> Can you push him towards the archer? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck me. Kills my rogue and all tough rock anyway. This kind of sucks. So obviously you got the tube by you up by the door. I got the tube by me. And I'm working on the back one. Frost element is generated.
Ooh, that's a play, throwing knives. All the rest are movements. Oh shit, you're so dead, buddy boy. How fast? How fast do you? Uh, it doesn't matter. 20. Wish I could go faster. Yep. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you hobgoblin looking motherfucker. You're at the gold. Yeah, the. Beat the beat him up, beat him up, and generates element. Although well, next turn I probably need like long rest or something. I'm just gonna heal and move. I'm gonna long er uh, get back on my burn cards. I'm moving toward the door as well. I have 80 priority on my spell lever, but I have huge move on top of getting my cards back. So I, I can move and prep for next turn. Can you start moving in? I'll be at the door. And I'll be healing otherwise, so I'm not really doing any damage. I'm just healing the two low characters. Okay, move to attack three, range three, waiting for host. Oh, thank God. You. Good. So, with Crackheart, do I just want to go and stand in the middle of the, all the uh, skeletons and just start wailing on them, or do you want to cut them, cut them back or something? I mean, Crycard has Retaliate. He's Retaliate tank. You can do that. You can put him in the middle and Retaliate and then use your uh, range to go to the back line. 
I don't think he really has to retaliate. He just does AoE damage to people around him. I mean, I know he has cards for it. Whether you have the cards or not, it's a different matter. I didn't really see any cards. Yeah, um, I, my two are really suited to get the back line. My range ability is bypass shield, so I, I can deal with shield a bit on my scoundrel. And then, yeah, back line is... Uh, so we're going this turn, right? Yeah... Let's see. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll with 13 speed, I'm gonna move in first. Okay, so I have a 6 and a 60. The 6 is a backstab. Oh, never mind, we're good. I can do 6, 60. Well, I'm gonna move really slow. So I have to go 60 after you. But I can move 6 and then melee attack for 3 and inflict poison. Um. Yeah, just just have as much damage as you can on one target. Yeah, Crag is gonna be. Cause next turn I can do throwing knives then. All right, so your plan is to go in. What can I do? I can heal. I'll save the heal for later. It's a range one, so I need to stay close to Crag. Um, there's no way we can let the archers be left alone. Like, we need to kill the archers and then get the skeletons, I think. So, I'm very much of the opinion to try to kite around them without getting in melee range and just killing the... Yeah, you know what I mean. Alright, um, so we have hardened strikes for big retaliate um, return damage whenever you want to set that up. Um, green would be a good prep for that. So do green before you want to do hardened spikes, which is just thorns basically. Um, attack three, range two, fire orbs. Attack three, range three, target three. I want that for the back row. Impaling eruption. I want that for the back row. So I want a big move and and uh, some range. Do you think you want to do hardened spikes next turn? Yes or no? I don't think you'll be in range of me, so there's no. I mean, you probably do it next turn. Next turn, maybe. Can you regenerate green this turn? No. No. Can you generate green next turn? Yes. Yes. I'll be creating okay, it. We'll do, then we'll do hardened spikes and turn after that. So in two turns from now. Which makes it perfect to use for moving. What part are you moving at? A 13. Okay. All right, sending it. Dark element is generated, I just noticed. Kicking through the door, you find yourself face to nothing more. Oh, they, they're just right there. They don't give you any more movement. I thought we would get more movement. I don't have my boots, unfortunately. Yeah, the boots for jumping or for uh, wind would be really good on him, I guess. Damn.
gotta hit one of them. Should I move? Are you, do you think I should move out for you, or should we stay here? I don't really want to move backwards. In hindsight, I probably would open the door and just move backwards and baited them through, so... Uh, I don't think you need to move. Oh, they were all range 4 out of range, so they couldn't move or attack, so they lost a turn. Attack three, target two. They only attack things that are next to them. Fuck, I can't get through. Oh, I just completely unblocked. Hell yeah, he whiffed. Alright, what are your options? What do we need to do? No. I'm gonna use my throwing knives to get some damage on these guys with shield while ignoring shield. If you move back, I can pull them through. Um, otherwise, we go. I think I just move back and self heal. Yeah, you think so? I'm at an awkward angle for shooting through the door because of the way the. Oh, yeah, they get to shoot. Yeah, I want my scoundrels like go down the left side and murder that left one, and then my magic go down the right side and murder the other three, and then we come back and sweep up. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to move back and heal. I think I just moved toward the road. I need, I need to get through there. I don't, I don't think so. I so think you move you back and we let them run, run towards, towards us. us. Yeah, and then we I use some ally, Jason, we kill them. But we need to get to the archer. Actually, I don't know. They will come, they will to, come us. to us. Yeah, I need to be able to get my scoundrel into melee range to attack where you're at. Any element? No element. Do I pop a big coolie? Um, I can heal you, dude. Do we need? I can heal you for three. Okay, I'm self doing anyway, so that'll just talk me off. What? You're self healing anyway. If you want to do it, sure. sure. Well, can you change your plan to do like more offense rather than defense? I really like for you like to push your way in rather than back out because if you back out, we're gonna lose like three turns, and I feel like we'll lose. 
I don't even know how what how that makes sense. How we only lose three turns by backing out. It's an exaggeration, but we'll we'll lose turns by moving away rather than making plays inwards. Because I'm gonna burn a lot of cards in my sorcerer quick, so I'm gonna lose uh, I'm gonna lose a lot of my cards quickly, and I need I need you to be in there for support so I don't get one shot. So. I can I I can one shot their back line. If you if you can hit one ability on their back line, like they're gone for sure. But if you back up, I don't see how you're gonna be able to do that. So back to my question. If I heal you, can you stay here and do offense and make a difference in the front line? Um sure. Sure. You put in your cards. What are your cards doing? I'll just, I'll just not move then. You don't have to. No, I'll heal you. Can you? Are you? Can you move in at all? I well, can't move anywhere. Anywhere, dude. You don't need to move. Yeah. I would do the jump, do the but, jump but since you're by me, you're gonna get hit. Gonna get hit. Yeah. I don't. Well, by by keeping you there, they can't all hit you. Only one of them. Only two of them can hit you. If I kill the guy on the left, though, the other one will move in. And it'll be the same number, though. Okay. Um, let's just start clearing them out. Would you rather I kill the one on the left or just soften them up? Kill it. Kill more it. Why did he thought he could try? I mean, <laughs> you you don't understand, I guess. Oh, I don't understand. It didn't really matter what you did. We're not one-shotting anything. I can only hit the guy on the right because of my position. Perfect, now I can hit both. Why didn't I kill? Oh, my bow's gone. I can only use it once. I thought it was like uh, every time. Uh. All right, this is going well. Massive boulder. Without fly, I can't get in there. I'm going forward. 
And if you don't want your mage to take one damage, you need to move it to not be adjacent to the crag heart when it moves, or when it takes a turn. The uh, the crag is 53, so it's pretty slow. Okay, where are you moving to? You only have 53, which means you're going to be there a while. Actually, I'm going to go faster. So I have fire orbs and impaling eruption. So one for line, one for three target, three damage. Um, what are you doing and how... Can you, can you hit any of the arrows and the archers? I can kill some archers. I am going here, I'm going to do AoE. And I'm going to hit as much as I can. Is it just the bone archers that you're, both people you're hitting? I will not be able to hit all the bone archers. It'll be mostly the ones adjacent to me. I don't fly, so all I can do is get in the front. front yeah, there. at least I'm, I'm doing 13, so I'm going to move really fit, quick, and then you can at least get in the door, or to the door. You're doing 13 with your crag? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn. I've had to move 93 to be slower, but then I can use your ally adjacent to an enemy to do more damage. Yeah. I'm just going to short rest on my mage because I can get the element. Are we going for the hardened? Oh, is this the hardened spikes? Eh. I don't think you can get to me to do a, the aura. Honestly, that, that bill does not even fit into that to a mage's kit, so I don't even know if you want to keep that around. It's, it's too hard to pull off. <laughs> Lost my big movement ability to get to the back line, unfortunate. Alright, we make up for it. Short rest will not give me any priority. I'm going to get by the skeletons and hit them. Three plus one, three plus two. All right, sending it. Oh, you're consuming the elements. Yeah, I need to know that ahead of time. <laughs> Boom, shakalaka. That's really good, actually. Next turn's gonna be huge. Just hit, hit as much AOE build, build 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 as, build as you can. The crack card probably dies this turn. Yeah, if I if we roll well, I can still live.
son of a bitch. Attacking for one at least. Nice, exactly what we needed. I can heal you next turn. Well, yeah, I can heal you next turn. You need to live that. Stay alive for as long as you can. Oh shit, you should have other cards, aren't you? Yeah, next turn's my last turn. Got this. Step up, soldier. Yeah, Sinister didn't really get its moment. You said you're dead this turn, right? So I don't need to heal you? Correct. Correct. Sender, bud. We got this. this. This is a dub. Yeah, confirm a kill if you can, but otherwise just do max damage. Unlucky? I'll give some space for you to move up and hit her. So that if you're adjacent, well, I guess it won't matter. Perfect ability. Ha 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 Fuck you. You're blaming me. Why are you making it so personal? Fuck you. I'm a fucking god of this game. Maybe you can move closer. So I can take I a can turn. move in front of you for the gold. Take the gold, take the gold in front of me. In front of me. <laughs> I could have put my visibility cloak and fucked you. Griefer. Griefer. <laughs>
You don't have gold of movement, so you might as well get melee and hit the four cost. It's a burn too, but it's a four. Wait, can't you just move through me and hit them both for four? But then you'll end the game. I want to get the gold. Oh, you're immobilized. Can you undo? Undo? Your top card is a range. Uh, I think you messed up the positions. Sir? I wasn't really looking. Yeah. I'm bo Are both of them immobilized? That's not good. I can't get the gold. Do I just kill and forget the gold? Waiting for host. What's the dub? Something out there. Pitch. What an awful turn to get immobilized. Give me the experience, you motherfucker. Fuck, I wanted the gold. There was a big mound right there. I wanted it. Dead. Your target. Hell yeah. Cragheart for the fucking MVP. We all got perk points, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I got my opener. Take only short rest, live fiber morgo piles. Got the achievements of New Steam. peak Steam. perk. Recover send seven per I got a spell weaver achievement. The barrel layer. Alright, back to town. You don't really want to play anymore. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Why? <sighs> How to say? <laughs> You're such a bitch. Not really having too much fun. It's literally just you just. I don't know. Like, it is what it's clearly what it is. We have new, you don't need to scratch the surface of the game. There's so much more to it. So yeah, you have noon gotten far, but you're already done. So it's whatever. All right, we all tough foring or what? Yeah, I could I could probably say that the campaign was probably matter.